How's it going? Hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Skate Saturday. That's right. I did the thing. I hope y'all are proud. I made it up. No, I didn't. I stole it. It doesn't matter. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. You know what? You know something? I am so proud. I usually start off these panels with myself, you know, muted and I forget to unmute myself. And this time I didn't forget. So I'm really proud of myself. Hello. Hi, everybody. Buddy. Hello. Oh my God. The chat's going crazy. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you all back. For those of you who don't know who I am. Hello. I'm Lauren Landa. I'm a voice actor. You guys might know me as Annie Leonhard from Attack on Titan, Merlin from Seven Deadly Sins, Juno from Beastars, Sailor Neptune from Sailor Moon, Fi uh, Female Robin from Fire Emblem, and a lot of other shows. Uh, and most recently, Kyoka Eden and Scarlet Nexus, which is an amazing game. You should totally play it. It's awesome. And sometimes I have guests on my stream, and sometimes I have amazing guest panels like the one you guys are here to see. So I'm not going to waste any more time. You guys know what you're here for. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming the amazing cast of Skate the Infinity. Woo! Oh, unmute yourselves. Don't forget to unmute yourselves. Yeah. Oh, oh, crap. Hey, we're here. Oh, Hi. We're Hello. Hello. We're going yeah. back at it again. We're oh, back, guys. Hey, you know us? what? It reminds me the, of the Backstreet song. Backstreet's back. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> such a great song. It's such a fantastic song. And hello, chat. We are all very happy to be back. You guys wanted it and you got it. You wanted another Skate the Infinity panel. So we got it. And this time we have a few extra people, which is very exciting. It's very, very exciting. But instead of me yammering on, we're going to go through each and every person so they can introduce themselves to you. First, we're going to start with Mr. Chris Guerrero. Oh, me? Hi, everyone. Yes. I'm Chris. Christopher Guerrero, it is me. Oh my gosh, it is, it is me. <laughs> I play Shadow in Skate the Infinity. Uh, you can also hear me in Overlord as Ein's Little Gone, uh, One Piece as Gecko Moria, Peckham's Hyruden, and uh, uh, recently uh, Chief in Megalobox Season 2, Nomad. Uh, but yeah, that's me. And I'm glad to see all of your beautiful comments right now. Aw, aw. I'm watching the chat right now. It's filling me. It's so like much joy. it's like watching it go by, right? Yeah. It's very. It's they're wonderful. Up, up next, we have Kieran Strange. Bollocks. Hi, um, I'm Kieran Strange. I'm going. Uh, I am one of the new people. There's a couple of us trying to fill in for Matt's absence. We're gonna <laughs> do our best. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh gosh, what have I been in? I, I'm Lorelai in Borderlands. I play Sketchy. I should probably say that in uh, Escape the Infinity, and I'm really excited to be here because uh, I love this show and I was super happy to be part of it. Um, even in like a small way, it was kind of fun to just sit down. Sketchy's not small. Everyone loves Sketchy. He, he is Sketchy's small. the biggest part of the show. Exactly, yeah. and he is small in stature, but he's big in love or lack thereof. Um, oh gosh, what else have I been in? I'm doing this all backwards. Uh, I've been, uh, I was uh, Lorelei in Borderlands. I was Luca in Astro Lost in Space, Rook in Enter the Um and uh, most recently, Defrot in Mars Red, which was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and I'm just here because um, I love Lauren. She's awesome, and these people are amazing. So always great to hang out with y'all. No, oh, you're amazing. Ooh. You are amazing. Glad to have you back, honey. And also, because I know people are going to ask, uh, yes, guys, we know Matt is not on the panel tonight. He unfortunately could not make it this time. He is a very busy dude. But if we have another one, he will be joining us for that one. So no worries there, but he sends you all his love. Um, up next, we have Damon Mills. Hey, what's up? Hi, chat. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Uh, I'm Damon Mills. I voice Cherry Blossom in Skate the Infinity. Uh, I know there's a lot of Cherry in Joe. Matcha Blossom, yes. Matcha Blossom. Um, <laughs> and uh, some other roles that I've done. Um, I'm one of the voice actors for Frieza in the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, Vice, the Immaculate in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, and in Pokemon Masters, I'm in Borderlands 3, Ruby, a um, bunch of other fun stuff. Um, I'm happy to be here. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so happy you're back. Love you very much. I adore you. <laughs> yes. um, up next, we have Howard. I'm Howard. Uh, and I'm, I'm Longy. <laughs> I'm Longa, the, the snow boy, uh, and I literally, I, I never remember what I'm in, so I, I literally had to pull it up. Uh, I'm in Haikyuu as Goshiki, 
Uh, I'm in Ruby as Whitley. Uh, I have. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Oh, uh, I'm in Suneo in uh, in a movie called Josie the Tiger and the Fish that's uh, coming to theaters in a couple days. Nice. So yeah. Congratulations. Um, nice. Uh, uh, Crow <laughs> Hero in My Hero Academia. Uh, and that's that's what's that's what I can see right now. <laughs> Howard looked it up. He's like, I don't remember. I have to look it up. Stress. Never <laughs> up next, we have Mr. Jonah Scott. Hi, my name is Jonah Scott, and I voice uh, Joe in Skate the Infinity, and I am wearing stripes and plaid because fuck fashion. Um, also, hold on. I, I don't know how many of you guys have seen this yet, but uh -oh. I, I just need to show it off. Oh, no. Ooh. What are you doing? What do you have planned, Jonah? <gasps> oh, 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 yes. Yo! That is awesome. Amazing. Wow. Is that a Joe skateboard? Yes. I wow. I have to well, Jonah, Sorry, you just got a vanity board. Tell Supreme. Jonah, you Holy just broke crap. chat. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Jonah, I I... it has the Whataburger stripes on it too. It's yeah. so perfect. It's so good. Jonah, you you just broke the chat. I hope you're I hope you're I'm happy with that. yourself. Yeah, apparently. I'm very good at that. Jonah's um, very good at that. If you have never seen Skate the Infinity, I voice Legoshi and B-Stars and Tatsu and Way of the House Husband and uh, coming up in December, uh, Aiden Caldwell and Dying Light 2 and a bunch of other stuff. But hi, guys. Cool. You've probably been in my stream, and I love you. Up next, we have Kimmy. Kimmy, who are you? Hey, so who my name you? is Kimmy Britt. <laughs> I voice <laughs> Carla in Skate the Infinity. And yes! Since Jonah wants to do that. Oh, oh shoot! Yep, yep. I'll do the same! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. That's, rad. That's rad! You guys, we have the one and only Carla on the panel this evening. Y'all y'all don't even know. And oh look god. at her amazing background, her it's setup. So good. What it's in the actual... Bad. I, oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad to have you on, Kimmy. Rai actually was like, Lauren, we need to have Kimmy. And I was like, what? Who, who does Kimmy play? Well, she plays Carla. Oh my God, we need to have her on here. You can't have yes. a panel without Carla. Come yes. on now. Come on now, the best AI. One of the best AIs, AIs in anime, I have the, to say. The, you know? yes. You know, waifu with the AI <laughs> capital. AI. Oh God! Right? You know what? We can kick you off this panel, just FYI. <laughs> okay, get, you know? just you can do that. It's fine. It's not like I went and got my cosplay hat out just just for the sake of this. You know. Well, you know what? We're on you anyway. Who are you? What do you do? Oh, you. What, oh, what are your dang. views in life? <laughs> oh, oh wow, that's a deeply personal question. But hello, everybody. I'm Rai. I play me in Skate. I'm in a bunch of other stuff too. I play like Shuichi and Glepnir. Um, I'm in One Piece's Pika, who has an insane voice. I won't spoil it for you. Go go Google Pika English dub. You'll laugh your butt off. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, um, I'm in a whole bunch of other stuff too. To Love Rue, Saint Seiya, awesome stuff. And uh, I decided to wear my cosplay hat because I have cosplayed twice now on stream. Uh, oh, precious yeah. little baby. That's outfit, what he is. The whole outfit is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I always, boy. I always make sure whenever I cosplay, I make sure that I am clean shaven. So I shave. Yeah, he's smooth. For, I'm smooth. I'm extra smooth today too. I did just shaved today. Did you shave for this Something. panel? Did you shave did. for this panel, right? I did. I did. <gasps> I did. The attention well, to I detail. Think I think we can all agree that Rai is baby, and we love Rai because oh he is he is the sweetest. He's the sweetest also, baby boy. All my stream viewers <laughs> in the chat, I see you in your hearts. I love you all. Mwah. That's all for you guys. But yes, I also stream here on Twitch too, and I see some of y'all. So I love you guys, and I'll say it again: Don't let your dreams be memes. Hold on, I just need to tell chat. If you guys have my Joe Booba emote, please put that in chat. I just need them to see that. <laughs> Please. I just need them to Booba. see my Joe Booba emote. Oh, they also need to spam this if they're uh, a tier two sub team. They need to spam the sketchy anime the sketchy, emote for they Karen. Did. They did. They spam they did? The oh, they did. Oh, I didn't yeah, see that. That's great. That's great. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, my God. I want well, to get this here. Okay, who do I have to subscribe to to get the sketchy emotes? Me. The Jonah. At T2 guys. <laughs> get all the sketchy emotes. You son of a. Bi no, I'm just teasing. Okay. <laughs> and and last. But certainly not least, at least in my heart, we have the one and only voice of Adam, Mr. David Wald. It's true. All of those things are true. I love you back, Lauren Landa. Girl. Girl. 
Adam. I'm David Wald. I play Adam in Skate. I um I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what a boobot emote is. <laughs> I don't. I've never been on a Twitch before. Not on purpose. Um, I oh don't know God. what's happening. So I love wait, all of you. So David, it looks like you've snuck nervous. outside to avoid your parents while you're. On the <laughs> I know, right? You had to sneak outside Guys, behind cool. the tree for be a cool, cigarette. Be cool. They're coming. Be cool. Be cool. Okay, wait. Shh. What? Yeah, how's your right. homework coming, man? It, did you I, get I what? Where'd you get? My math, ma. Pass I'm done with my math. Uh, so wait, are you are you saying this is your second time on Twitch apart from the skate panel am last I on time? Twitch right now? Yes. <laughs> Technically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, I, I, as far as I know, I, I suppose you'll be my first and second, Lauren. Oh I feel gosh. so special. A dream come true. I now yeah. know your true love for me. But David, enough. I'm so sorry. Who have you played? Who may these other people know you as? Um, you you may remember me as um, Gajil from Fairy Tale or Tetsu, Tetsu, Tetsu. Tetsu, all the tetsu. I play all the tetsus in My Hero Academia. <laughs> That's in my contract. All the tetsus are me. Nothing but tetsus. Um, nothing but tetsus. <laughs> it's called Tetsu Hero uh, Academia now, not My Hero Academia. Right. Exactly. Oh, okay. Um, it's My Hero Academia Academia. Um, yes. uh, yeah. What? Uh, uh, Wayne Wright Jacobs in Borderlands Three. Um. Uh, some other stuff I'm directing these days, probably pretty much like all the gayest dubs in anime I've directed. As it should right. be. It's my mission in life. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> goal I would achieved? No other. Was it goal achieved? Oh. It was goal achieved, right? Goal achieved? Well, we, we just released, we'll talk about it later, you know. Yes. Wrap up, but we just released one uh, today. Stranger by the Shore is now streaming on Funimation. Uh, in English as well as Japanese. Um, Chat already knows. Chat yeah. already knows. Chat's been well, hyped know. about this thing. They know. I've been and they're also, this thing. I know we're just starting off, and you can say no if you'd rather not say it, David, but everyone is demanding you say the line. Everyone is demanding it. Oh, the line. The, the line. The, the line. line. Listen, you've earned it. Hey, bitches and bros and non binary hoes. Yes! There it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes! Perfect. Beautiful. And beanie toes. We did it. And beanie toes. And line. Someday and I'll all... be as cool as you, David. Someday. Yeah, we all will. One day we cool all will. David. And also, just so you guys know, Leah Clark, who was the writer on the show, wanted to be here. But unfortunately, she's at a con this weekend, but she sends you all her love. And she loves all of these people. She's like, who do you think wrote the script for these guys? I'm like, oh, yeah. OK. Makes sense. So Leah Clark sends her love uh, to all of you and to everyone in the chat. So yes. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, chat. If you've been to a panel on my channel before, oh my god, I just made a rhyme. If you've been to a panel on my channel before, you know how it works. We're gonna start off with some questions, and you can post a question in the chat. I will get to as many, many as we can. However, just gotta be patient. Do not spam the question, please, because otherwise that will not get picked. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and start. So guys, uh, you just finished season one. How yeah. does it feel? How does it feel? I miss it. I miss it, it, really. I miss it yeah. every day. I missed it since my last session. Howard Howard knows this. So when I went in to do my last session for Skate, I changed my name for our Source Connect thing to Rise Very Very Sad McKeon because it was my last session Aww. for Skate. And I was Aww. just like, why are you sad? And I'm like, it's my last <laughs> session. So, but I'm I'm very excited for the future of Skate, but I do miss working on it. I miss they did just announce a new out. anime project. Which so is know. huge. Crossed, which is could insane. Be could, could be a movie, movie, could be a second season, could be two OVAs, hopefully not just, just one every Cinderecki OVA? Yeah. Are we gonna- yeah. Ooh, Ooh, if it was a Cinderecki OVA, I'd be like- Cinderecki Matcha Blossom. Oh, I would be okay if it's an OVA, if it's a Cinderecki OVA. Otherwise, give me a movie. Yes. Yeah, or a second season. What would the movie be about, season. though? What would the movie be about, Jonah? Had, we've had thoughts. Yeah, we they thought go, they, yeah, they go to America. 
and then yeah. they, they go back to they Canada. They do street American street yeah. boarding. The exactly. Oh, they go to Canada and they have to switch to snowboarding. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like an anime version. So it'd be like an anime version of Johnny Tsunami, essentially, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. We made yes. this joke exactly. last week. We There's did. I'm so joke. glad. He, yes, we did. We made it last time, and it still stands. It's still accurate. <laughs> it's still relative. It's still relevant. <laughs> Can we please get the masquerade costumes in the show? Oh yes. yeah, I want them in please, my closet. That. Yeah, yeah, that too. I want to wear it. Can I wear it? I I Next want I, I want to feel fancy in character, you know. Or at least mm. the mask. Yes. As, yeah. At minimum. Put it on my shelf. I'll take a mask and put it on my shelf. Which so you don't have any room. I you don't have any my room. Shelf is full of. <laughs> Jonah will make a room. My shelf Jonah will make a room. And honestly, like I had to put the skateboard on the side, which upset me. But I'm gonna find a way to mount it. I got yeah, yeah, yeah. put a, like a you know a rack or something in my room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, but I'm totally wearing the, a dope sketch shirt. No that way! My wife got me. That's oh, awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. I'm wearing my. It, but... Yeah. I'm wearing like my my dyed Mia shirt for my upcoming like skate outfit Mia cosplay. You uh, guys so. are all so wonderful. I love it. I love the commitment. That's I awesome, am man. Wearing I, I... no pants. <laughs> like... That's good. I mean, you wear that's, pants. Yeah, that's valid. You're in character for Sketchy then. Sketchy and also yeah. here, here, your hair matches Sketchy's that's fur. That's true. Mm. It's true. It's built in. I cheated, and I'm okay with it. Exactly. There you go. I just, now I just have here's... this flower crown. That is uh, oh, that so hold on, that hold on, hold That's on for fine. a second, hold on for a second. We all know that Damon has now officially cosplayed as Cherry. Oh, oh, yeah. And chat, you know, chat, you gotta let us know if you've seen his amazing cosplay it's because so good. holy it so crap. Good. That beautiful. wig was so heavy. Oh my God, did it give you a headache? Did that oh, wig yeah, give you a God, headache? Oh migraine, big time, God. it was worth it. It was worth it a was migraine. Tight. So worth it. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Ryan. You were going to say something. I'm just Go ahead. Keep wearing this. I wasn't going to say nothing. I was just like, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so. Now we just need to have David. We just need to have David cosplay as Adam. I think we, we should definitely Listen, have that. Do you know how expensive a Matador outfit is? Nothing you could commission this. someone to make one for you. I you guarantee you. You a suit at some <laughs> point, and it's like yeah, $10,000 or something David like that. Costume. I'll put the suit on at some point. We'll call. Yeah, that and then we'll get, we'll get you. We'll dye your. We'll just dye your head blue. You know, we won't get away. We'll just dye your head blue. <laughs> David, I'm, I'm clutching. Crayola, wash yes, exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm clutching my imaginary pearls, David. I mean, I don't know. I don't. The thing, there's a thing about suits. I'm sure chat can agree with me, but there's a thing about suits. We can all agree. We can all agree. I'm a big fan of his suits. Okay. Yes. I'm a we big can all, fan we can all agree suit. on that. Love me some Absolutely. suits. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Why is so, killing me with this hat? This hat, hat I mean, you're killing me. Oh, it's very cute. Don't and ever look. cosplay any other version of Mia. Just that one. Never. <laughs> I, I want to cosplay. I want to cosplay as Kimmy, just as herself. I mean, look at how gorgeous <laughs> this perfect specimen of a human being is. It's ridiculous. It's <laughs> He's just like, excuse me, what? She's like, what? She's like She's gross. Like, what? I have a friend that is always really grossed out whenever I say, "Oh, I hurt you," and she always says, "Disgusting." <laughs> I can't but she but she means that she loves me back in return you know anyway all right chat go ahead and throw us your questions while we continue to talk about how um how was it recording the finale you guys how was it recording the finale for season one were there expectations that you had of your characters did something happen with your characters that you were not expecting please go into detail someone go please chris go uh I'll go. Uh, well, uh, funnily enough, uh, I had uh, I had a set the final episode. It had to be split up in two sessions because when I went into because I went in studio that uh, that for that session, and for some reason for like 30, 40 minutes they couldn't hear me. We couldn't hear each other, so we only had like fifteen minutes of uh, session left. We're like, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to come back to this one. <laughs> so when we came back to record the rest of the last episode, we did it from my house. But I was like. Well, at least I got to be in, I have the skate experience at least two times before uh, yep. ending. And uh, yeah, uh, are we, can we talk about spoilers now? 
I would have it's, it's, been been yeah. it's, it's been it's been a minute since you guys ended so just so you know chat um if you don't want spoilers you came to the wrong place i'm sorry but it's been out for a minute now so i think you guys are safe to talk about spoilers. i would be surprised if anybody cool. in chat did not see the entire i show. agree i yeah. agree uh, I, I was a little well, crestfallen when uh, uh, Shadow didn't get with a manager. It turns out she had a, a, a boyfriend -o all along. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that hurt. hurt. That oh, hurt. Kokoro, it's breaking. <laughs> During the that. end credits, I thought it was really cute because in the background, you see uh, 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 Hiromi. Yeah, that's his uh, actual name. Uh, pass a potted plant to Oka. And I'm just like, wait, he's also a manager. Uh, so maybe he he's into milfs manager. Unless. I like a friend. <laughs> manager, <I'd> like... <laughs> we manager, just we just all want Shadow to have love because he deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah. 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 He made yeah. friends, and now now I think he he de deserves some uh, some love. A little a little something more yeah. personal. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to that. Amen to that. Poor Shadow. Yeah. Shadow Where's is no baby. I wasn't Where expecting. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly thought Shadow would be the character. You know how there's always that one anime character that's like, okay, yeah, he's funny, but oh my god, he's gonna get annoying after like the first four episodes. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. totally not the case. Shadow is adorable, and I was like, I need to know more about his storyline. I want to know more about Shadow, uh, and I love that. I, I love that. It's great. Love it. Exactly. So I, I kind of hope in like uh, the, the next, uh, I don't know what the next project's going to be, but it'd be cool like after this, instead of like having kind of like that, that uh, heavy metal, black screamo metal like aesthetic to him, like he becomes like more goth. Yeah. Uh, and I'd be down for this. Depeche uh, Mode and he's... The Cure, and he's got black fingernails, and like <laughs> he's really a big fan of Robert Smith. Exactly. <laughs> this is some MCR on the side. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I'd be, I, it'd be fun. Like he, he, his personality changes with this aesthetic. So Kira, I have a question for you in particular. I have a question for you in particular about Sketchy. What's up, love? This is a very deep question. I hope you're ready for it. Oh yes. What is it that you do to get into character for Sketchy? Because. <laughs> Sketchy's a very complex character. I mean, does he want belly rubs? Does he want naps? Does he want food? I mean, there's motivations all over the place. It's it's, it's a, a, absolutely for the actor. It's got to be diff you know and it, and you it know. It depends on which character you're you're in the scene with, right? Because <laughs> like I have to be angry if I'm in a scene with like Howard or Matt. Like I really got to phone them for an hour beforehand and just <laughs> kiss and spit. Lando. And they keep trying to hack up and let them. It's, it's just... But if I'm in a scene with Zeno, you know, we'll we'll chat or he'll hang up. But I'll try and chat with him. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> He's a busy boy. Um, yeah, no, uh, I would, um, realistically, I would just really try to make sure my voice could get up there. <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever, like, done a creature, and I have a very, like, gruff, low voice, so, um, it was super fun. Yeah. Um, I took my pants <laughs> yeah. off a lot, that happened. Mm. Mm. I mean, does anybody really believe in pants anymore after 2020? No. I don't no. think they do. I don't, oh no, Jonah, your camera died. No, it didn't. <gasps> Oh shit! Oh, the sensor was cleaning. Now he's got a blue face. Blue What's going on? <laughs> oh, I just, I just mean. love, I just love that. That's hilarious. Just the no, it didn't. Oh god! So, anyway. <laughs> Really fast, Lord, right. before you go to the next question, I think now is a good time to say to the chat that, hey, if you guys can't make it to the whole thing, we are going to upload this to the YouTube channel that we just made. So type exclamation point YT for the YouTube channel. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank there you, you voice of God. Thank you. <laughs> that is God. That is, that is Nathaniel VA, as you guys all know, one of my one of my mods and my producer on this channel. So yes, oh, wow. uh, if you guys want to watch it again, it will be available on the YouTube channel. It will also, the VOD will be up there. Uh, oh my goodness, thank you. We just have a question from Lupe. Lupe says, uh, hey. I just, oh my gosh, oh gosh, oh boy. I just wanted to say thank you all. This show got me into skateboarding again and it helped me through some of the darkest days I've ever experienced. And I'm just really grateful for all of you. Thank you, Lupe. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. I don't know why I'm thanking you. I'm not. I'm not in the show. I'm sorry. I'm speaking for all of you, but thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, Thank you, Damon. Let's talk about let's talk about our favorite cherry blossom. Let's talk cherry. about cherry. Cherry. Yeah. All right. So, season one finale. What what's your thoughts on that with cherry? What happened? Let's talk about it. Um. Well, he got hit 
in the face by Adam. Uh, and I was really upset. I remember when I first watched it, I screamed. Um, Listen, I'm hired to do a job, Dave. It really hurt my feelings. It was in my face. not personal. It was business. It was I just business. I know that. It was a business it. smack in the face. It almost gave me a concussion. Could you feel <laughs> the love, though? It looked like, really violent. Almost. Yeah, no, I, love, I, felt, right? I felt the love and the passion behind it. It, it, it was very sure it that was reverberated don't, don't through my body. And my jaw and my fracture. Skull. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, just, poop. Hurt a little bit. Um, I mean, everything's legal in S. Sure, yeah. that could be a little yeah, true. true. But I love. Can't tell him how you got uh, how you got that skateboard to the face. Oh, yeah. David, oh, mute yourself. Mute yourself. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm muting myself. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, got, I got jet airplanes behind me. I apologize. <laughs> I'm about to board. How dare I? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love the moments where Joe is pushing Cherry around in the little wheelchair and being being the best boyfriend, um, yeah. and uh, carrying me like a princess. That was nice. Um, he does. Oh. It's why he's so it was big. Really, That's why the arms are so he, big. He's he's daddy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he is. The- <laughs> we wouldn't be able to get through this entire panel without someone calling Joe daddy. I mean, it's, it's just... Contrary to, like, anime dad tropes, he is, like, one of the best anime dads. Like, oh, kitty! top ten. Yeah. There was a kitty. <laughs> now there's a kitty tail. Meow, meow. Now there's a kitty tail. Oh, Hello, kitty. Hi, Mia. Oh, hi, Mia. Oh, oh, Salem kitty. Oh, my oh, goodness. Mia. Everyone, shh. There's a cat on camera. Like, Everyone yeah. just... Oh. This is my David, mama. where are your where are your kitties? Where are your kitties I mean, at? Not just my cats, but they're around. Where is that? <laughs> Maybe yeah, you got one. How, how's yeah, that? He's right here. Howard's got, got boy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Over, over here. He's sleeping. I don't want to bother. I want okay, to okay. cold. <laughs> Howard, give him. Damon his cat back. No, it's, God, it's, it's my cat. cat. It's his cat. He just has imprinted upon me. It's my cat. He is imprinted upon me, and I'm Honey, his favorite. But he's that's true. Not. I'm the cat so for social sorry. Media cloud. Yeah. It's all right. Every yeah, every actor fine. in the voice acting industry knows who that cat is when I direct. It's yep. Shit. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I want to see in the next season, uh, Cherry in pigtails. That'd be fun. Um, oh, and it needs to happen. That. I know it needs to happen, uh, and uh, Cherry and Joe need to get married, and it's just what needs to happen. I know they broke yeah. up a long time ago. Did you say, wait, Dara? Did you say, yeah. did you say, did you yes, say Cherry you and Jonah need to get married, or Cherry no, and Joe, Joe need to get married? <laughs> oh, I thought you said Cherry <laughs> and Jonah. I was like, I mean, you know, I, I'm sure people are for it. You know, absolutely. I need I'm my sure Daki Makura, my Cherry Daki Makura. <laughs> Yeah. And then I will be as close to my fictional crush as I can get. Howard, what about you? What are what are your thoughts on uh, on uh, season one and Snowboy? I mean, towards the end there was was really really cool, like with all the with all the Reki Longa closeness and the 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 pause for effect that broke the fandom uh, a little bit. Can we talk about um, that for a second? Because let's talk about me. that. I didn't know that was happening. And yeah. I was like, did we just get away with another bit? Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. All right. <laughs> it's it's how it was written and just what are they yeah. gonna do? It's just how we how you we decided to read it. The flaps yeah. mean you have to Putting just the say things yeah. of the well, same. Like, well, it it was, was, yeah. We we had the line and we had a certain amount of time to fill and we we're like Flapjuly. You know? We did what we could Big brain Flapjuly, that's that's a word. That is yeah, a brand new word I that I've never heard. I want to say I like, can't take full credit for all of that. Just it's uh, it was a big collaborative effort between me and uh, Kyle uh, Phillips, the director, and uh, and Alyssa, the engineer. We all, yeah. we all, we all yes. made sure that that hit. <laughs> there was know? a lot yep. of. I, I assume there was a lot of uh, hand rubbing and and and. and... Yes, good. Yes, good. Yeah. We did it. And thus, one of the most Many famous moments. lines in modern anime was yeah. born. Yeah. Yeah. My love of skateboarding. skateboarding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then, of course, there's the the final, I guess, race uh, against Adam was was very 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 cool, uh, and like all the in in the zone shit. Like I love sports anime, yes. and they have like the zone stuff yep. in there. I'm like, 
wants to zone again in the sports <laughs> anime. Yep. Uh, yeah. But uh, it was that was really cool having superpower eyes for a second there. Um, but then, uh, yeah, it's and then like I love the uh, the Fast and the Furious, th you know, style drop where it's a family. It's fun. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing about sports anime is that whatever sport it is, whether it be baseball, skateboarding, basketball, whatever sport it may be, it is life. Swimming is life. Balls, yeah. Basketball is life. Skateboarding is life. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It's, it's all true, though. It's true. Skating is infinite. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Skating is infinite. Oh, my Skating God. You just said the oh thing. Good night, everybody. That's the end of the panel. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, right, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Right. <laughs> That's it. Jonah just ruined it. Uh, Jonah. <laughs> Jonah. Yeah? Talk about Joe and, and the season one finale. Oh, Tell my God. Us. How much Talk time we got? Um... <laughs> We have Joe's... another hour and uh, a half. Okay, All right, folks, yeah. everyone's settling. It's not going to be enough time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe's incredible. Uh, Joe is probably one of my favorite characters to voice just because it uh, he leans into a lot of stuff that I like, you know, the dad stuff. And that came out near the end, the last few episodes. Um, he, he has some of the most dad lines I've ever done in a show. Like, go get him, kid. Like, that's... That's that's so like Western dad. It hurts, and I and I loved delivering it. And we probably did like six takes of it just to make sure that I said it right. I wanted to do six yeah. takes just to make sure that I said it right. But um, when he, he says we, I mean me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I you know I want to stress how how much this the cast in its entirety wanted to make this show perfect. Like it's not like, we don't go in there trying to make a bad dub. Um, there are some people that do it accidentally, but like we 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 were focused and we wanted to make sure that you guys got what you wanted and like. I'm bisexual and I wanted to make sure that everybody was happy with what, what what the product was like I wanted to have you know you know a hetero leaning Joe in there so for 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 a little bit and then there's like you know homosexual leaning Joe really hard in a lot of episodes so I wanted to make sure everybody was super happy and I I am so happy that a lot of that read with you guys and that's that's huge we just need to put a bow on this relationship cherry that's all we need I know why have you not I given me a ring yet I don't know. Maybe it's because you come into my restaurant every night eating five hundred dollars worth of food and wine. I got the bow on my head right here. I'm hungry. That to you guys. <laughs> Two months? What is it? Three months of salary? You eat through that in a week. I'm a growing boy. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was Mia. I thought Mia was a growing just boy. water everywhere. True. Like... <laughs> someone, someone, please clip that. I'm a growing boy. Someone, pre growing please boy. clip <laughs> that. <laughs> 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 just to see Cherry, Mia please. in the, oh, the magic that happens on these oh panels. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no I mean, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like with Cherry too. I tried to, you know. We can't speak for the characters in a canonical fashion, right? right? But like, I, I my head canon is Cherry is a gay man. Like that is just like sure. he, is. he just is. Um, and so yeah, I like I like being able to lean into that and kind of express that. So it's really it's really nice that Joe uh, Jonah and I um, were able to do that. Mm -hmm. And we were it's it's rare that we get to like talk about it like as we're doing it as we're like dubbing mm -hmm. stuff. And right. it's just so nice to we we legit bounce things off of each other and we were like you're Back gonna love dubbing the next the episode because I, I recorded first and we got some good stuff in there for you. <laughs> yeah. we, we we needed to come in prepared and uh, with a few ideas and you know what we knew what episode we were dubbing and it's not mm -hmm. like other shows where it's like you go and you don't know what's going on. We knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, 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 probably too much. Yes. Well, I have a well. I, up next is Kimmy because Kimmy, I had a question for you. Um, in anime, there's many different. Um, I want to. It's not necessarily a trope, but there are characters in some anime shows where you just know that they're going to be beloved, and I think that AIs are not always high on that list. But yours is completely different, and I want to know how that felt to be kind of. Um, recognized as a very like it's a favorite carla is a fan favorite and she's an ai and i want to know what that feels like how does that feel how does that feel to be a part of that first of all i had no idea for the longest time i had just absolutely no idea i was just gonna go in do my cues go and i was like i'm so excited to be a part of this show even in, just in like some small capacity like you know, I'm just helping it along. But then I realized I, I got on TikTok and I was like, oh, 
Oh. Oh. There's, oh, there's love it. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There, you know, there are head cannons. There are people drawing human Carla. There are people shipping Carla with Joe's board. I'm just like, this is great. I love this. He's, he's single, there's by so the way. There's so much love. Oh, good. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. Well, it's it's especially cool because this show is um doesn't have a lot of female characters. So it's even cooler that she's kind of a badass AI. But I also love, I don't know if you would say it's a relationship, but I do love the uh, the dialogue between Carla and Cherry because it's just very Batman and, and his yes. stuff, you know? Yes. That's what I'm reminded of, at least. Yep. Carla yeah, go with Jarvis and Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tony exactly. Stark was what I was yes, thinking, too. Yes, exactly. Was exactly. Thank you. Jarvis. Thank you. That's a way better. It's a way better example. Tony Stark and Jarvis, absolutely. Yeah. One hundred percent. Infinity, Infinity Stones. Like, there's got to be a cross. Oh my God, there's a connection. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. Yeah. Apparently, Joe's board is a girl. Needs to happen. Which would oh, make yeah, 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 yeah. Carla and her like super cute lesbian boards. Apparently. Ooh, oh my God. Super cute if you're looking at Vieira's, yeah, Vieira drew. You guys need to go look at Vieira's art if you haven't yet. I don't know if somebody can post a link in chat, but Vieira did humanized versions of everybody's board. It's so good. It's so oh, good. Awesome. It is, one, of, one, of, one of Vieira's strengths is anatomy, and it looks, they look real. It's so good. Damn. Oh my like, goodness. Vieira, if you have a link, please just like DM it to me and I'll put it in chat. But like, you just you, you see it. It's so good. Yeah, they're they're phenomenal. It's like Vieira. Vieira did so, 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 so amazing. And then Vieira also did uh, Jonah's Prints for the stream oh, let me, let me see if I can show oh, nice. this. Oh, yes. Please show that. Please show that off. And it while, well, oh, never mind. He's already back. Yes. These, wow. all these are so pretty. Is that see I can't, I can't see past the muscles. Hold on, Jonah. Can you, hold on. I can't see past the, oh, there's muscles. The there's, there's I can't, I can't Don't see past the Don't hold your woman towel. like that. Wait. I can't see past that. <laughs> I think that's it. That's all I have yeah. left because they, they sold out in less than 24 hours. Oh, no. Nice. Very nice. Mm hmm Right, let's talk about let's talk about the little the little bugger that we know is Mia. Let's talk about him. Let's, I was just trying to be nice. Yeah. I was trying to be nice. No, no I, I totally understand. Totally understand. Um, <laughs> it was it was so 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 rewarding to kind of see Mia's little character arc throughout the show, um, especially towards the end of it all too, since um, you know Mia starts off such as a big as like a villain of the week sort of deal and then he kind of becomes like yeah i'm like the reluctant friend who's gonna help you get ready for your stupid fight against adam um and just to see him kind of grow more attached to Reki and to longa and to the whole crew and to kind of see how he like opened up as well meant a lot to me um to see that even though he wasn't in the spotlight he got his like his development was so subtle, and I appreciated that. And there's still room for Mia to grow too, since he's only like 13, and the show is canon. Um, and just the very end too, when his his old friends in that during the credit sequence, when his old friend like acknowledges him, and then Mia just gets the biggest smile and then runs off. That that filled my heart so much. I'm just like, ah. But um, going into the last episode, I was I was sad because I loved recording this show every week, um, or almost every week basically. Um, that Mia was was in it, and uh, I had already watched the episode subbed. I had already cried watching the episode, and then when I rewatched it dubbed. I cried again, mm -hmm. um, and I was just like, ah, "My boys, my boys." <laughs> oh. um, but uh, I, I'm, I, I always say this, but I truly feel honored that I got the the chance yeah. to play Mia in such an awesome and become part of such an awesome community as well. Uh, I truly feel blessed that I got to you know be introduced to such a wholesome fandom that's really supportive of each other as well so uh, that's incredibly important yeah that's so. it's incredibly important and i think it's i think a lot of fandoms should should um be kind to each other and wholesome to each other because we you know if we're fan if we're fans of something we all love the same thing we might not agree on certain things but we all love the shows we all love the the characters you know all of that we all love the same things so let's just all love it together man you know mm -hmm. let's just, just just keep it chill let's keep it cool 
Exactly. Yeah, and the other yeah. cool thing about Mia is that he could have a lot more stuff to do in this new animation project or in a movie or in a second Yeah. Season. You never know. There's still so much for all of the cast because, like, they could do a whole, like, free thing where it's like, yeah, the main focus of, like, the first season is this one character or so and then starts branching off to all the other That's characters true. too. So they could easily do it with Shadow. They could do it with Joe and Sherry. They can do it with Mia. Like, it's Adam and Tata. I really so liked room. about the character development and the character designs is... In design, a lot of the, the one of the first things you learn is like you have to have an established silhouette. You have to be able to see, like, without having any color or design elements or anything like that. You have to look at the silhouette and know what the character is. Like in Overwatch, you look at the silhouette and you know, I know exactly who that is. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I really, really like about this. Because if you looked at, not, not no shade at all, no shade here, but if you look at the Free Boys, it's kind of difficult to tell who's who with a silhouette, but if you look at the the, the the guys that skate, you know exactly who each one is because it's just it's just really well designed. Yeah, and, and their personality aesthetic. shines right. through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, you can see the personality in a silhouette. A sugary sweet otaku, I'm just gonna answer this because they just asked, do you know when we're getting news on it? I'm just gonna make this very clear to, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer that real quick for y'all. We never know. We <laughs> never know. We learn we when you know. know. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We know when you know, pretty much. Unless somehow someone has some magical clairvoyant sight. Most of the time we don't know unless it's announced in Japan. Or unless, like I said, the studio knows it before we do. But most of the time, when it comes to new shows and new seasons and all of that, we rarely know before you guys know. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so a lot of the times fans tell us. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we got a, like we're, we got a new season. Like, what? Like, wait, what? There, what? Excuse me. Like, literally. But no, I was. I woke up to to the announcement of the new skate news. I literally filmed a TikTok that was pretty much a reenactment of what I, I felt. I woke up. I was like, oh, I'll just check Twitter, and I'm like. <laughs> I had like four DMs and four text messages saying, hey, there's more skate, there's more skate. And so I was just like, <gasps> <laughs> Well, that's kind of the beauty of the show is that it leaves room for more like you were just saying, Ryan, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, David, 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 are you ready? Are you ready to talk about Adam? And I didn't do it. Finale? Let's do it. Yes, you did, yeah. don't lie. No, he did it. <laughs> I love it. I I really do. You know, it's a. It, I I kind of love it when at the end the bad guy's not so bad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I like a little yeah. a little oh, yeah. redemption for a, mm -hmm. for a, uh, for an antagonist. I think um, I think Adam was a really interesting antagonist because he was written with a lot of dimension. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah. It's really like. I mean, with a voice like mine, I'm going to play a lot of villains. You know, a lot of kings, a lot of dads, a lot of villains, a lot of bad right. guys. And uh, very seldom are they that multifaceted. And I loved his new look at the end, the outfit. It was like he like he was suddenly he got really into Ghost. Or like he heard like a, an early Marilyn Manson album, completely <laughs> lost his identity, had a whole new outfit designed. <laughs> the music video he was going to shoot right after the yeah. skate night. Um, yeah, I, I, I like, and I, uh, the like the that sort of the closure, the 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 dynamic of that race between Longa and Adam, like we've been waiting for it all season, right? So, um, th I thought that was magnificent. It's just, it's really, really gratifying to play a character like that, who has such depth, and you know, in I mean, in most other shows, an antagonist like that would have been so thin; he only had one side. You know, and and Adam had a lot to offer, and uh, yeah, I mean, like the other, like the others, I really, I miss recording it. I, I, you know, that's what I was doing instead of therapy. So like now, I gotta hire a professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's a question. Here's a question for you, David. Do you is as the actor, as the performer, do you is there a part of you that sympathizes with Adam? Well, I think it's, it's every, all, you know, you're going to get a different answer to this question no matter what actor you ask. But my feeling about it is I can't afford to judge a character. Um, I can observe their actions mm. and I can see that they're behaving in ways that are uh, uh, disadvantageous to people, injurious to people. Yeah. But, you know, generally in something that's well written, you're at least going to get the character's reason why yeah. not that it necessarily justifies uh -huh. their actions but you're going to get 
something of an insight into what caused them to choose this line of behavior, you know, to live this life they've chosen. And I thought um, Skate did that with Adam really, really well. And in fact, it wasn't a, a big revelation. They were, they were, you know, feeding it to us all the way through, which I think is why as, as antagonizing an antagonist as Adam was, it was, you, it was kind of hard to just judge him. The show kind of pre-armed us uh, yeah. uh, to do that. So, yeah, no, I, I like, yeah, I don't know if I can say I sympathize with some of the, I mean, there's plenty about Adam I do sympathize with. And I think that's kind of where, for me, finding a performance kind of starts is finding the connective tissue between me and that character. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are these are all the fun thing about this show is that these are all very fantastic, beautiful characters. And when I say beautiful, I'm not just saying, oh, beautifully. Di-. No, they're all like pretty. They're like all super pretty. And we all appreciate that. Uh, there was one question in the chat that uh, was fantastic. It was a great question. I want to say it was Kaza Kaza who asked it. So I apologize if I don't get the exact question, Kaza. Oh, what is something about your character that you'd like to see developed if there's another movie, season, etc.? What is something you would like to see happen with your character? Or what is something that you would like to see develop in their story arc? Whoever wants to go. I think we kind of touched on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we get these two to kiss, please? That'd be great. Yeah. That would be fantastic. And that would also, I want to see like the backstory because they they went yes. and touched on it a little bit with Adam and Joe and their whole you know introduction to skateboarding and their friendship. And there seemed there was seemed like there was stuff going on between Adam and Sherry also. So what happened there? What's right. going on with this? this triangle exactly uh, relationship i need to know and i, I got more young cherry i need i, I want to i want to hit I, I i i i i pushed really hard so that i could finish saying son of a bitch okay i know a lot of you guys really wanted that to happen and i did too but get this there was two flaps okay so we had to get you son of a bitch five syllables into two flaps and i fucking pulled it off for you just for you <laughs> i did it we did it it's there and the, 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 the tension is still there, and we need to learn a lot about that backstory and the reason why I got to finish that sentence. <laughs> there you go. Uh, gosh, <laughs> I guess uh, one of the big things I would want to know about is like, what exactly, Shadow's background, we, we you know, we know who he is kind of like uh, character-wise, but I, I want to know more of his backstory. What kind of, form these split personalities like how does a guy like that because I, I assume yeah. like he started off pretty repressed as a person and this sure. uh uh this uh alter ego shadow is just a, a way for him to open up more uh mm -hmm. he, even though it was pretty toxic at first but i i feel like finding friends i feel like also he, he doesn't have any friends like he's very kind of yeah. closed off and that was his way of kind of opening up, but not in the best way. Maybe a lot yeah. of like a repressed anger kind of like manifesting with that personality. So I, I would be very, yeah, I, I just like to know like how that came to be. Uh, why did these two personalities form? Like uh, which one is the real one? I mean, he, they're all real in the end, but like they might be yeah. such a sharp divide. Both might be real, though. Both might be oh, yeah, real because be, because if you because you know uh, if you look at introverts and extroverts, right? You might be yes. introverted and extroverted. That doesn't mean you're one or the other. It just means you you know that it's one side of you that you might show to people, and it's another side that you might you know what I mean. But I would love to know Shadow's backstory, one hundred percent. Because Shadow he, reminds me. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was done. Go ahead. Shadow reminds me a lot. I did. I, I I never got super into it, but I did have a stint in high school where I watched a hell of a lot of wrestling. And if you watch a lot of wrestling, there is a it's it's like an opera. It there it's it's oh, all yeah. scripted and everybody knows it. But it's like you 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 watch it because it feels like you're watching superheroes, you know. And it's like a, a super kind of like a superhero gang. And Shadow struck me as there was a part to play in the whole opera that is wrestling called the heel. And that's like a, kind of like an anti-hero, but like somebody who comes out and you know wrecks shit and throws chairs and is super angry and super mad. But a lot of the time in these big wrestling arcs, the heel joins the team and the heel right. becomes the like super weapon against the like, you know, common enemy kind of thing. And I really, really like to see something like that as, as kind of a fan of wrestling that, that I 
Yes. Dude, the whole idea of like, like so yeah, I, I have to, I have to stop you all for a second because apparently Brandon just popped into the chat. Oh, Brandon! And, and it's Brandon's Brandon. birthday. Happy what? birthday, Brandon! Brandon. Happy Brandon. birthday, Brandon. Brandon. Okay, man. Happy birthday, dude. What? That's, Happy that's, birthday, DB. That's why hey. Brandon wasn't able to join us today, guys, because it is his birthday today. So we love you, Brandon. Happy birthday! I, I don't want to share anything, but thank oh! you guys very much. Oh, hey, Brandon! Hey, Brandon. Uh, I wasn't expecting to make it. I, I'm ruining the entire setup, so no, I no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I didn't know how long my birthday stuff was gonna go, so I was like, I didn't want to confirm anything. So then I just decided to. I got back early, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll see how everyone's doing. This is Hi. Awesome. Well, welcome. welcome. Happy, birthday. Happy birthday wishes. Happy it's birthday lovely. to you. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear Brandon. And listen to me. Thank you very, very much. I love how much. Dave's just like conducting us all through the Discord. <laughs> and, and I know, we like, try. We like, try. Uh, Listen, as much as I would love to <laughs> came up in this moment in time, I'm wearing but a bathrobe, chilling on my birthday, so that probably okay. wouldn't be the smartest decision. Understandable. Yeah. Completely understandable. Well, now chat's just gonna want to see that, but it's fine, Brandon. You don't. You, <laughs> you shouldn't have said that, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's good to see all of you, though. You guys are beautiful people. No, Always you're a beautiful. pleasure. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead. Oh, oh, you made man. You're quick with it, Nathaniel. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just gonna, Nathaniel is amazing for a reason. Nathaniel is amazing for a reason. Hell yeah. But, uh, Brandon, we're so glad that you were able to, to pop on and have happy, happy birthday. The whole chat is freaking out about your birthday. Awesome. Um, <laughs> really quick, we were just talking about, uh, our, th every, we were talking about everyone's thoughts on their characters at the end of season one. If you can give us a little input on yours oh man the amount of serotonin i got when i finally saw tadashi move his stern face into somewhat of a joyous smile at the end i was like he's got some emotion in there it's lovely to see it he was, he was happy uh, uh -huh. yeah that was that was great for me uh great to see and then just all the quick cuts of everyone living life together i was like oh and even adam's kind of vibing with them all i'm like okay this is this is wholesome ending. I love it. It was just it was such a good little finale, and I was like, I hope there's more. And you know, as well as entering here, I'm seeing woofs. So it it's lovely. It's lovely to be a part of this fandom. I love it. Love every second of it. I saw the skateboards. Freaking amazing, both of you, Carla and Joe. I think you guys both sh sh showed some uh, skateboards on here. So. Yes, they were beautiful. That's awesome, oh. Carla. Carla's looked One badass more. though. Oh, ah, yeah. that's so good. It's very Tron. Doesn't that kind of remind you of Tron? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint it with neon black light paint. I think Ooh, that's yeah. A woman after my own heart. I so appreciate that. I love it. Uh, Kieran, I'm so sorry. I think I cut you off and you were starting to say something when Brandon popped on, if you were so saying sorry. something. Oh, I... No, no, you're fine, Brandon. I'm sorry. No, Brandon <laughs> was worth this. It was worth the interruption. I don't even remember what it was. I'm so sorry. I'm no, sure no, that's fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of things that could happen with all of these characters and something that I think one of the many things that people love about the show, apart from the characters, is that it really is one of those shows that, as you all said, it's very wholesome and it's so nice when it's the state of the universe or the state of the world is not at risk. You know, it's very nice where you don't have to stress out about that. And it's all about these people that have the same passion and they all come together in the end. And I, I think that's, I think there's something very beautiful and, um, honestly needed right now in the world. Oh, yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Um, having a, having a show that's so grounded in a heightened reality, I should say, because some mm -hmm. of the stuff they do in the show is so out there, but having a show that's like grounded in reality enough where the characters and what the, they go through is super relatable. To, to almost everybody because somebody can relate to the character's struggles or you know sympathize or come to understand them in whatever way they can think of um you know like Reki's arc in the entire show mm -hmm. i was like he's just a confused 17 year old boy who thinks he's losing his best friend and he doesn't want to yeah. lose one again i'm like it, it it makes so much sense what he's going through it's not even funny um you know between adam's story um i i said this last uh last uh, panel we had too but as somebody who comes from 
uh, an upbringing of, you know, mental abuse, like seeing Adam's story be told and to him to come to some sort of resolution means the world to me because those kinds of stories need to be told to see what people, when not, you know, taken out of those situations, if not, uh, you know, helped in some manner or form, what they might become. And Adam is a perfect example of that. And while, while you know, Adam's actions are by no means justified, like his small arc to redeem him in even the slightest amount meant the world to me to see that story be told. Not to mention, you know, like Joe and Cherry having their own story of like coming to find their own friend again in their own way and just their own chemistry. Mia just growing up and learning to have friends, Shadow opening up and then Longa kind of coming to terms even with his own dad's passing. Like in, in that one moment that at the in episode 12 where he just sees his dad as he's going down the slope. He's just like, are you having fun, son? And he's like, yeah, I am. That that. There's so many small things that build up to such a big payoff emotionally. And I feel like it's those small things that we love to latch on to. And it's the small things that the fandom loves to latch on to as well. And those subtleties make the world to, to right. me as a viewer and as somebody getting to help bring life to these characters. Absolutely. And that's beautifully said. Don't forget, chat, please go ahead and put in your questions. Otherwise... We're going to run out of questions, and it's just going to be us talking nonstop. I mean, not nonstop, but, And thank you for you coming know. to my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw some shit on my roommates real quick, because they I, I ordered tacos before the before the stream started, and I'm like, you guys are going to have to get them. Thank God you gave the chat and a heads up, because they were freaking out, Jonah. And he's like, okay, I'll have to get them. And then I got a phone call, and then I was like, hey, someone will be down in a minute. And then I got another phone call, <laughs> and they're like, nobody's come. And I'm like, God. Gotta well, I'm trying to get the tacos, don't I, guys? That I paid for, <laughs> huh? And that's something. There was a question in the chat, and they want to know what was a what was a piece of dialogue or a line that you all struggled with with your characters. Ooh, that's a that's struggled a good with. one. Okay, that's a good question. Struggled calling how? everybody master. I like, struggled to say. Hard in the morning. Yeah, struggled to say, or you couldn't finish it, or just Jump that one day, it was just, you know how whenever you yeah. go in to record, there's always a problem child, essentially. Yeah, yeah there's that oh, one. Sure. I have one, if anybody else wants to go. go I just said, I know, go, the go true problem it, child is recording at 10 a.m. for me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I agree. 8 a.m. I feel it. First thing in the morning. The other day, but it was remote, yeah. so they're allowed to do that. First thing in the morning, and if your voice has to go super high-pitched like that, Absolutely not, and I I also had to do that recently, so I totally Book me for understand. Book in the morning, please. I can get way down there. That's that's yeah. what we can do. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> the, the, the line that I had really hard time saying was whenever, okay, whenever Cherry and Joe are arguing, a lot of the times they speak very fast. Now I'm a very yeah. fast talker, so a lot of the time when I dub, yeah. people have to add a lot more words, or I have to like yeah. really chew on the line to make it kind of fill the fill the flaps. Yeah, mm. um, yep. but the back and forth between Sherry when they're talking really fast. There's a lot of like, some of them are really long chunks that he's just like, and it's like, you have to fill all that. And sometimes you have to take a breath. And and um, I think it's the last fight they had where they were talking about how they like went on a date in Paris and they yeah. picked the restaurant. It's like that whole fight I had to do probably three or four times because it was just a huge mouthful that I had to sure. get out. And I, if you go back and listen to it, I kind of slip out a character voice because I'm like, all right, that's it. I, that's all I can do right now. That's that's mm, going sure. to have to be the one because <laughs> I, I yeah. nailed it, but I, <laughs> it was not quite all the way in character, but oh well. But yeah, that's that was it. It's the smaller lines that I, I'm able to put a lot of sure. on and massage. Sure. It's very interesting what which lines can be difficult because on other days they're super easy and then on other days it's like, what? Uh, someone was about to go. Rai, were you about to? Who was about yeah. to go? Um, I, I was going to pipe up uh i promise i'll shut up so other people could talk to <laughs> I how so dare you talk while I you know. are on a panel how sir dare. i i am offended <laughs> deeply how dare you get out of my sight okay i will um no i honestly i think the line that i had the most trouble with was uh oddly in like episode three um when when longa does the whole thing where he like uses his swivels on his skateboard to make the gap against the broken railing when mia's just yelling at him like the rail like he's like the rail is too jacked up you're not gonna make it i had to do that a good couple of times because i had to find a place in my voice that wasn't too like scratchy or like too like i guess puberty soundy um and not make it like squeak or like you know like squeaks a good word make not make it squeak too much so i had to find a good place to like yell that out and like also make keep the that intensity um that was probably the hardest one to do and then um 
and then I think uh, going back to morning voice a little bit, I think it was episode 10. Uh, I had woken up early enough, but my voice didn't wake up early enough. Um, it's no. the episode where Mia calls Reki a traitor. Um, burrito? Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll take they five of those burrito. burritos, I'll Jonah. Think, I'll take a burrito. Um, she forgot my burrito. Oh, they did? <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to get a phone call later. Um, so. But uh, when Mia yells out, like, uh, calls Reki a traitor, like, thankfully it sounded good still, but... Um, my voice was struggling to to get to Mia's own that day because um, it was all, right. always with skate. It was always a 10 a.m. session. Yeah, back to the zone. Um, so like I yelled it, and I'm like, that barely sounds like it will hit Mia, but yeah. So that was kind of like I, I had to live with it because I can't do too much. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, those are that's my story. Howard, what about you? And we all love your kitty. Yeah, Riku. it's Riku. He's on my Hi, he's on my end. Yes, it's his turn. It's his turn to watch him. My phone, my, my phone cat. just thought I said "Okay, Google" because I said Riku. Oh. No, yeah. no, you just made my phone. <laughs> okay, oh, Riku. So... Sorry, my headphones on. It's, can't do that. I have an iPhone, so I don't have that problem. <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, by the way, I love Android. Sorry. Continue, Howard. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of. I don't know. I was tempted to make a joke and be like, no, I'm a good actor, but I'm not. So, uh, <laughs> the, I don't know. Uh, Howard, the... you are such a good actor. You threw like Canadian on some of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, no, can we talk about that? Sick. He always undersells Seriously. himself. Yeah, Howard, oh my God, no, no, seriously, no. that made my day. You have no idea. I'm yeah. Canadian. And Howard is fun. very it's... talented. Yeah, it, it, it's fun fact. Uh, me and me and Karen, like, we kind of we kind of go way back. Like, we we knew we, we knew of each other. Like, we we had met. And, like, we'd hung out a couple times. Like, back we were back in, in the, the day. Scene yeah, together. like mm -hmm. ten years ago in when Canada. we were yeah. a little younger. That's yeah. crazy. That was also, cool. also, can when we bring back hashtag person. Howard Power real quick? Howard Power. That yeah. Howard, oh, Power. Like, Howard, Howard Power. Hashtag Howard Power. Hashtag Howard Power. Please bring it back, sure. Luna. I I see you. I see that. Bring it back. Okay, continue your story, Karen. And Joe. And yeah. uh, I guess the hardest thing for me, though, I mean, hardest is in like the one I really wanted to get right in massage uh, and judge was the 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 Reki and Longa like makeup scene at the where Reki talks about or like Longa talks about how Reki is his happiness and stuff. Like, I just want to make sure like that was done properly and hit right. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The the emotional stuff. Yeah, we know what we want to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know what we like. <laughs> yes. Well, the um, chat is a brick wall look at all the Howard, Howard power. They are Howard yes. power. Yes. 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 Power. I'm so proud of it again. I saw yes. one power wing in there. That's good. Oh. <laughs> power. power That's the hashtag, guys. Power wing. Hashtag <laughs> power wing. Um, David, what about you? Is there is there anything you'd want to see happen with? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that wasn't the right. That wasn't the question. Sorry. Anything that you had difficulty with Adam recording Adam was there a particular line that you had well, to with? No, I mean kind of sort of the way our sessions with uh, me and Kyle like if I had too much trouble saying a thing I just said something else. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, God love Kyle Phillips for that. Um <laughs> <laughs> No, that you know the it's like it's a, it's it's the technical stuff. It's like uh, that last episode um Adam's pretty unhinged. And so there's a, 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 a pretty long sequence, you know, compared to the size of the episode, a fairly long sequence of Adam just kind of off the chain and like, you know, super emotional and unable to contain his emotion. Like, you know, he gets pretty, pretty hot. Um, and it's just, it's, it, it, it can be difficult because, you know, when we record these shows, generally we record them sequentially. So we're going through in the order of the scenes. Um, so you go through a sequence like that, unless you unless you decide to, you know, break it up to sort of like save the screamy stuff for the end, which I, I generally don't because I'm quite self-destructive. But um, the like, so getting through a sequence like that, that's extended, that's like a lot of like heavy breathing and gasping and, and, uh, uh, and you know, hard reacts and like a lot of like yelling and overwhelming emotive uh, dialogue can be exceedingly taxing so sure. you kind of have to pace yourself for that so it was I'm a, I'm a choir boy so <laughs> diaphragmatic breathing learned from choir is yeah. how, how you do that 
<laughs> but that's uh, that was that was tough stuff, just on the technical level. On like a you know anything else, I think. No, I, I kind of, you know, like I said, Kyle kind of gave me some free reign. And if I felt a little uh, left or right of a line that was there, like we, we played with it until it was until it was what we wanted it to be. So mm-hmm. um, it was kind of kind of awesome. Kind of awesome when that happens. Amen to that. Yes. Brandon, what about you? Oh, man, having to follow any line after Adam calling me a dog <laughs> or a puppy was always always a challenge in itself. Uh, sure. <laughs> but I, I'd have to say the hardest thing for me was the whole... Uh, it's, a, it's a love hotel, right? That Tadashi takes yeah. Rekki to? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Def- that, yeah. Was, that was just a whole interesting interaction and having to be a bit serious in a setting like that like you see the visuals of this love hotel and like Tata she's like listen life sucks you suck <laughs> everything sucks don't do what I'm doing uh, it's just like having oh, to be depressing in this aesthetically pleasing room and, and just the freaking lava those are like those are huge I don't think they were lava lamps but they were ginormous it was I was getting very distracted by those visuals it was uh, yeah but, but, that threw but, me off a bit what's a love hotel sure. Oh, right. You'll learn when you're Sweetie. older. Exactly. We'll tell you when you're older. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. That was my subliminal way of getting Howard to say the line that people would be I saw with. it in the chat and you said, I was like, all right, fine. I'm just going <laughs> to. Right. I'm, I'm mid boba, so don't worry about it. I'm mid boba. I wish I had boba. <laughs> I'm half Dang two it. right now. Kimmy, how about you? Because you had to speak in a very particular manner. So how yeah. about you? I did. Uh, the hardest thing for me to do was probably say master with a straight face and of make course. it not sound weird somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make it not you did sound a good job doing that. Make not it sound not like you were paid weird. to say it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and not laugh. Uh, and, and and do all those things uncaffeinated uh, early in the morning. That was Girl. a challenge. Great that was challenge. <laughs> never do anything uncaffeinated. Are you kidding yeah, me? I want to. I want to touch on the whole voice actor caffeine thing. Uh, it sucks being a guy that drinks a lot of coffee and a lot of energy drinks. And you know, every now and again, back in college, I used to do like caffeine pills because I was crazy. Um, and then <laughs> uh, having to like get up in the morning and realize like my voice is going to tighten up mid session if you drink a cup of coffee, buddy. Don't. You can't do it. Not until eleven thirty. Not until twelve thirty. Not until yeah. one thirty when your session's over. Like you can't. You gotta power through. You gotta do it. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. You gotta. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. Imagine being someone that can't drink coffee but loves coffee that and sucks. needs the caffeination to help, but cannot because it'll make the day entirely awful with anxiety and all of that. So Just you imagine that. Diet Coke, man. Oh, Diet, oh God, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do (laughs) anything. But uh, you know what? I'm uh, sometimes I will let myself have a coffee, but then I immediately regret it. It's awful. Anyway, uh, (laughs) Damon, what about you? Did you have any difficulty with any cherry lines? Any particular thing about cherry? I can't really think of anything specific. It was mainly like if anything was <laughs> well having an 8 a.m session and trying to speak a yeah. monologue of very technical cues and yeah, i'm still just kind of oh, nursing yeah. my coffee back bringing it back to coffee and i'm like Ugh. okay so you know then try to like put your mouth around those big long words that he says um and yeah that was mainly that was mainly all i can i can think of that was maybe a little difficult but and Kier, for uh, for sketchy, this was like you said, this was your first creature voice, oh, right? Yeah, <laughs> which is amazing because it's you know creature uh, voice actors don't get enough recognition for how difficult that actually is. So more power to you. Um, hey. Did you? I have to ask. Did you? Did you audition for sketchy, or were you were you cast as sketchy? I really want to know. No, um, I we all auditioned for the main characters, um, and then I think they cast the rest of the show based on those auditions for there. Um, but I was surprised, but speak. I was really into it. Hey, yeah, well, sorry, exactly. Which is interesting because the character doesn't speak. I don't think. 
No, I think, no, I he doesn't speak. It's just anything. animal noises. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, Kyle and um, and Chris were both super sweet, and they were just both like, like we wanted to include you, like, um, oh. you know, which was huge for me because I tried to be a skater when I was a teenager and oh. that was awful. Um, yeah, I was. Really did you bad. fail miserably, Karen, or were you good at it? I did. No, I failed terribly. I had a Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> skateboard, and I fell off it multiple times. Um, but it was a lot of fun, um, and so I was really grateful to be in it for that reason. And as well, like um, I wanted to touch on what Chris was saying earlier about Shadow, and like he was actually the character that I really identified with the most. And so, like I would love to see him explored more. Like mm. I totally got what Jonah was saying about the whole like he feels like a very wrestling heel based character, like the comedic heel almost, but can be scary when needed. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I need to see more, regardless of sketchy and the new stuff. I got to see more Shadow. He was my yes. favorite. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Shadow's definitely the one who has the most room for like a story to be told. Absolutely. Like you were earlier, Chris. Oh, yeah. I feel like I a lot Chris, so. we want more Shadow, man. We, we want, want more you. Yes. So I'm low key more. actually realizing I'm in the shadows and I'm wearing an orange. Yeah, you're uh, being yeah exactly. <laughs> Everybody's got something Between, in regards like, to the character. you and David. David, you look like oh, you're in front just... of a green screen right now. You're not. Up. Never mind. Oh my, just <laughs> oh my god! Just one different person. Oh my god! David's got the blue night sky to represent Adam's blue hair. <laughs> oh, really? Is that a green screen? And there's a guy. I am on the chat. Since, uh, I'm on location. Someone in the chat asked. Uh, someone in the chat asked, "What music do you think your characters would listen to?" And I, I have a definitely want to know what Spotify music. Playlist. Do, okay, go for it, Jonah. I'm gonna link that in chat. I know exactly what you're gonna link it in chat. I've never worn a beret. Cherry I'll find it. Classical music. Why not? That's what I thought. Yeah, definitely classical music. Uh, classical music, maybe some, you know, I don't know. I need Rye to come yeah. over and adjust something room. very. Something with something regal. like a pia piano and strings, piano. I imagine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I, f I feel like Mia would listen to J pop. And a little bit K pop stand. I, I can imagine, I can oh imagine God. Mia listening to J pop, but just sitting in his room, like being super emo, just. Yeah, no, you know, like, I feel like, like, I feel like Mia would listen to like J pop and maybe some J rock while he's playing on like his little Nintendo Switch. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing uh, it. I'm putting it in chat right now. You ready? Get it. Get ready. Get ready. Here it comes. Yes. Oh, there you go. There's a link you, to my Joe playlist. You did it's it. Great. You did it. Uh -huh. Also, I Almost do like the, the Cherry Secret Pop obsession. I think, like, maybe when yeah, he was younger, cool. he listened like to pop. That. You know, like, he was, like, early into pop when he was, like, in his teen days, and now he's like, no, I must I must be an adult and serious and listen to things. But he has a secret affinity for Lady Gaga. He he's a little boss. <laughs> Absolutely. Knows Absolutely. <laughs> I think I would see him as respecting, as being one of those people that's like, I respect Lady Gaga as an artist. Yeah, as an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know? As an you artist, know? yes. I respect yeah. her muscle. People are saying, so, like, Cherry K pop I feel like, like, you know what? Probably. 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 I feel like uh, Cherry would be into Queen as well. Oh, what? You'd be into like what? Big Freddie Mercury. Oh, yeah. Fan. Oh, yeah. Big Freddie oh, Mercury. Yeah. Fan. Also, since uh, we're talking about Cherry, I changed my lights accordingly. Chris, you're disappearing. You are you are disappearing. He's really shadow. <laughs> Living in the shadows. Uh -huh, um, sorry. I was looking for a song uh, shadow appropriate. Oh. That yeah, was like a baby metal that. guy, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 He probably looks yeah, at Lady Beard and is like, I want to oh, be yeah, just like him. Metal. Let me go to the chat because I'm going to post this just weird. I believe he just listens to like like baby metal metal but also just weird music and uh let me uh, uh post this song once this i is a great question it. i don't baby remember metal. who asked it but thank you for this great question uh howard did you did you say longa what are we talking about adam i didn't hear you were you did you say longa longa probably just has that let's go to the mall song looping let's in head. go to <laughs> the mall yes because he's Canadian. Canadian. Uh, uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah. How oh, about we sing a song about our beavers? You know. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, that's what she says. Like I'm most... just quoting the damn show. What, Karen? What? That's so funny. Langa listens to the most indie Canadian music, just so when people ask him who it is, he can be like, oh, yeah. "Mother, mother." <laughs> <laughs> Langa probably listens to like some some like underground Canadian hard rock because you see he's got like the the shirtless like the sleeveless like uh, shirts that have like the. That the collar on him. I feel like he just goes there and he just cuts him up and he's like, 
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, Billy talent. Kim, He's all over it. Kimmy, what about <laughs> Carla? I know she's oh, an AI, gosh. but she 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 must have access to all music essentially, so she that's really could true. listen to anything. So, so sandstorm. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna say probably prog metal or mathcore. Oh, Ooh, math math core. Core, right? yeah. Math for an AI, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is mathcore? Can you link this stuff? That's awesome. Absolutely. Mathcore. Yeah. Donna's just like, oh my gosh. The mind boggles. What is that? <laughs> Vocaloid. <laughs> David, when I think of the music that Adam would listen to, I literally imagine him in a room as a composer, like just pretending to be the composer, listening to like Beethoven or something. That's what I imagine. You know, at least, I, so. I think Adam would really like you to think that he listens to to classical oh. music he, yeah. he would really love you to think that he's the guy who like uh, of his own device he'll he'll pop on some schubert some schumann you know one of the romantic shoes that's all bullshit <laughs> you know as soon as everybody out the house keep cranking it up i caught it bad just today you hit me with a call to your place ain't been out in a while anyway was hoping i could catch you throwing smiles at my face romantic how can you don't even have to try <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is true. So that's the one mm. oh, it's man. gonna be that or turn down for what <laughs> yeah mm-hmm <laughs> and while while Adam's jamming to that, Tadashi will just be in his room after being screamed at, listening to the sound of silence on repeat. It's like, oh god! The yeah. sound. Or oh, oh, like "Hello Darkness, My Old Friend." Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which version? Which version, though? Original, or or like Disturbed's cover of it? Uh, I go probably original. One. I'm gonna guess the original. Original it's because you like then, to yeah. think you know. that a Simon. I'd say Tata, she's a Simon and Garfunkel guy. So Adam cute. makes him listen to the disturbed one and he probably was sent it. <laughs> <laughs> that or who let the dogs out? Who here would listen to Holland Oats? Oh, I I love Holland Oats. I do on a personal level. I like Holland Oats. I just like Holland Oats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say All I right. think Oka would listen to like skate rock and skate punk and like a bunch of ska in the shop and then he goes oh, home yeah. and listens to yeah. Hollow Notes. Oh, ska and ska. <laughs> Oka goes home and listens to Hollow Notes. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, he, he listens to all this like like hypes, like skating music and ska and he's just like, I need to wind down with some Hollow Notes and just hits play. Some was, 90s like, trailer think, music. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Thank oh, you, Kita. Whoa, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you Ooh, so much for the uh, 10 gift subs. Thank you so much, Kita. Thank you. Thank you nice. for being here. Thank you so much. Uh, Kieran, what about Sketchy? What kind of music would Sketchy shake his little booty to? <laughs> Probably like Lizzo. Right? <laughs> oh, Lizzo. I love it. Yeah, Anything like with Lizzo. Lizzo. Molly, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you Isaac. so much. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Don't forget, guys, throw your questions right into the chat. Ha what is the fox? Oh, okay. My Egos wants to know how do you think Sketchy feels about the cast? How does the cast feel about Sketchy? Well, I mean, I can answer one thing. Sketchy loves Mia. Duh. It's it's in the second and third episode. Sketchy just warms right up to him. And Mia's just like, I love he's all animals, like, so I love Sketchy. He's like, oh, I sense that you are a good cat person, and since I am cat software running on dog <laughs> hardware, I'm gonna love you. <laughs> I also <laughs> think because, like, I also think because, like, Sketchy's kind of a little, a, a little shit to some of the other members of the crew, and then it's like, senses Mia's, like, you, inner, like, inner little shit that he exudes, and he's just like, I oh, like right you. There. We are one, we are cut from the same cloth. I had. Hey, we had thank a you, Dribble, for the ten gift subs. Thank you. Dribble. Thank you so much. That's my man Dribble. right there. For the scrubs. The we scrubs. Got I love these it. Subs. I'm sorry, I cut someone off. Sorry, go go ahead. Whoever I cut off, I'm sorry. There was a thing in in we were we were I was streaming the other day, and we were me and Rye were streaming the other day, and we were thinking that uh, we had a headcanon that Joe is completely unaware and against the fact that Sketchy is a fox. Sketchy is a dog. He Sketchy's a dog. To Joe, it's sketchy. It's, it's, sketchy. it's a, a dog. dog. It's a dog. It's, what are you talking about? It's, it's a dog. dog? It's a dog. It's, a, it's not a fennec fox. Blood orange. It's fucking red. It's a fucking dog. 
And that's is, uh, it, is it a dog or is it a, a fox? Dog. It's, it's a either fox. a dog or a forbidden cat. Forbidden <laughs> cat. <laughs> Thank you, Chobbies, for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so many gifts. Oh my up. goodness. Let's Angel, thank you so much for the five gift like, oh. subs. Thank you. They're like, oh wait, there's a button that says subscribe. That's right. And then there's like <laughs> gift subs. I Desert can give Trump. money to people to be subbed. I can I can gift the the life of oh no wait, give yeah. the give the gift of subscribing. It doesn't matter. Anyway, yes. Um Mia's favorite video game. He probably totally plays Animal Crossing, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe, but Mia loves RPGs, so Mia is for sure a Dragon Quest fan. A high school Dragon Quest fan. That yeah. okay, I will go on I will go on this tangent and I will die on this hill. Mia calls people slimes. He calls them like says he's the hero. He's not a slime. Like that is clear, clear cut that Dragon is, Quest that's references. A direct reference to Dragon Quest. Literally. Yeah. Direct and I myself am a huge fan of Dragon Quest. A big fan of Dragon Quest, so I'm like, I can relate to this kid's taste in video games without any issue. He probably also likes Zelda too, but he probably plays Animal Crossing. Zelda, which Zelda? Yeah, he probably plays like uh, mainline Zelda, so like uh, or like anything before Breath of the Wild too. He, he probably, I feel Ocarina like Mia would probably. Of time. Yes. He might like Ocarina of Time. I feel like Mia would probably like uh, Wind Waker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kita, for another 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys that rock. Totally Thank you. Cute. I think that's you so much. I think that's cute. I don't know. Waker's so good. Really fast, guys. Your gift subs means yeah. more streams like this can happen. Oh, my so thank gosh. You. Chat. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom quick. So say weird shit about me because I can totally not hear you. Okay, with your okay. Headphones. Wait, 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 Jonah, wait, wait. weird shit Jonah, about before you. Before you go, Jonah, Jonah, oh, okay, no. wait, wait. Jonah, before you go, when you come back, because this is a question for everybody, if the characters from Skate the Infinity were animals, what animals would they be? A gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely a gorilla. <laughs> Sketchy would be a human. <laughs> hmm, a human that's a great skater. question, though. True, and humans are animals. <laughs> not be an animal, so. <laughs> I feel, I feel like Shadow like, yeah. would be a baboon only because of the colored butthawks. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I feel like Cherry would be a cat. I don't know a why. Cat? Yeah. 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 I think a cat or like a, flam a flamingo or. You're just or, saying uh, that because he's pink. Yeah. You're just saying that because he's pink. Flamingo, uh, peacock. I don't know. Something really fancy bird. Uh, but I think... What about a swan? Ooh. The cat. Yeah. Ooh. Cat makes sense. Ooh. Not the same thing, but I don't know. Part of me just kind of, uh, comes to mind. Maybe because I like the bird. Uh, secretary bird? Ooh. Ooh. Secretary. Like that. What's a secretary bird? Oh my god, they're beautiful. Have you not seen them? Hold on. I oh don't think god. I have. I don't think I have, but that look... sounds beautiful. Oh yes. They have natural eyeshadow. Uh, do they have shadow nice. in, the, in, the, in the eye, natural eye shadow? Shadow is a character in Skate the Infinity. Boom, we just solved the universe. <laughs> Must be nice. I wish I had automatic or natural eye shadow. I would save me 10 minutes every day. Howard, what about you? I mean, a Yeti doesn't count, right? So it counts. It counts. It counts. Yeah. yeah. But like, maybe like, I think Longo would want to be like, because he liked that wolf design thing before Ricky made it a Yeti. So I don't know. Or like a beaver. <laughs> a beaver. beaver. I like a beaver. A I like yes, beaver. the proud Canadian yeah. beaver. I was going to yeah. say, I, let's, let's sing beaver. a song about our beavers. Let's just do yeah. it, because apparently it's <laughs> there. It's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Angry beavers. Kimmy. God, an animal? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That is hard. But can she be a human just once? She yes. can absolutely be a human. Human humans are practically animals. animals so. Change into a human or a horse. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Why two. not both? A, a centaur. Horse. A centaur. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh is. yes. We got there. Yes. <laughs> Adam's a peacock. Yeah, I was yes. thinking that while I was taking the. Yeah. Yeah. Adam's a peacock. Adam's a peacock. Adam's a peacock. Yeah, Adam's yeah, a pretty go-to peacock. Go -to peacock. Either that or possibly a very uh, well-groomed honey badger. Oh! Because he don't give a oh, shit. Because he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's exactly. not. <laughs> I think uh, right. probably he doesn't give a fuck. He's going to chew the fuck out of those gators. <laughs> honey badger. He doesn't give uh, a shit. He doesn't apologize for nothing. I love it so much. Rye, what about you? Did you say what, what animal um, well, Mia would be? 
So here's the dilemma, right? If I'm going in character, Mia loves all animals, okay? Probably, probably not bugs. Because in, in the episode three preview, at the end of episode two, he says, he says, I am not, I will not be forced to choose a favorite angel. So Mia is very difficult to imagine. Uh, I mean, Mia would probably be a cat because Mia's hoodie and all that says kind of like, yeah, he kind of likes cats a little bit much. Um, but if I couldn't choose a cat, I'd probably go for, um, honestly, I think Mia would probably be like a lion cub. A lion cub. Yeah. That's cute. Aww. Yeah. I like that. There's yeah, ferocity in there, it. but it's tiny. It's too tiny to do too much Adorable damage. Frog. It's like a bigger cat. <laughs> I think of Simba cat. growling at the little bug on the yeah. floor. Yes. yes. That's, that's, that's like me in a nutshell, I think. Nate, right? Nate, Nate, no, no, <laughs> Nate, no, bad oh, no. Nate, bad yeah, Nate. Say. What did you do? Oh, no. Nate, yeah, yeah. I, I said you yeah, could yeah, just, you could just pull the alchemist all, all, all of them together. <laughs> no, that, bad no, Nate. no, no, <laughs> that's awful. Don't you dare make that joke ever again because it is too soon. It is too Always soon. Too soon. Like it's years. too soon. Um, Orange Leaves had a very interesting, very interesting question. And this is kind of a test for you guys as actors. If your character had a core memory, like from Inside Out, oh. what would it be? That's a very good question. And very that's very deep. I love it. I love I it. Good question. I think it's pretty much already established in the show that it's 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 Longo with his dad. Yeah. 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 That's Longo. I think that's sure. like one of the only ones that like might be just super canonical, just like it's already explained. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then it's an easy question for you. <laughs> Cherry and Joe seem to have just this major history, even canonically. They I think they said after the fact that one of the creators like they went to kindergarten together. Yeah, they know they've like, known each other their entire lives. Yeah. So I feel like it always just roots back to Joe. Yeah. And for good reason. My path yeah. in life is Joe. Back All paths Joe. lead to Joe. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's a fair path. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, for Mia, at least initially, it's like Mia really latches on to like his friends. His friends like betraying him, saying like, "Didn't your manager tell you not to associate with slimes?" Like Mia holds on to that for like the majority of his arc until the very end where it seems like his friends kind of like yo what's up dude i think you're pretty cool um dude. whereas the kids might say i think you're pretty poggers um i don't think that's canon though <laughs> um but uh I, I feel like that's me that's Maybe. that's mia's and it's just the whole sense of like abandonment that really mia holds on to and the, the the fear of getting attached or losing right I feel like that's me as in in right. for fear of getting hurt, like you said. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, sure. I feel like that's that's me as for the majority of the first season, and 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 yeah. And Chris, I know we we didn't really go into Shadow's backstory, but I can't help but think that, uh, like you were saying, there has to be some sort of memory there that has helped shape into the person that he has become. Definitely, um, I want to say maybe in his adolescence, uh, either he might have seen something on TV that he can impart, part or like something that I'd say maybe obviously reserved, possibly bullied, and then kind of just like maybe seeing like a performance on TV or at a, a concert that he saw these people, you know, uh, uh, like uh, black metal, a uh, kiss ask uh, band, like have their their you know, no nonsense attitude. They do what they want and uh, they don't care what you think. And maybe he mm. kind of like drew from that to try to like uh, uh, have some assertiveness in his life, possibly because I, I assume maybe he, you know, we see his like flower shop, a persona. Maybe he was a very extremely meek person uh, and because of his size or how he looks or like how imposing he looks, maybe he was looked down upon or people... Right thought like, hey, we're scared of this guy. He has this physique. He looks like a, a thug. And maybe a part of that is just like, yeah, maybe I should take kind of, a, of that persona as well because I should live my best life as I see fit. Right. Insightful. And it's, well, it's 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 like some, some people who turn out to be bullies were bullied by someone, you know? So mm -hmm. I would I would agree with that. He went... He went to WrestleMania and it changed his life. There we go. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's canon. Perfect. <laughs> Cut it. Print it. Uh, it's going there. Uh, Brandon, 
Yes. Uh, Tadashi's core memory, uh, I'd have to say when he shares his passion of skateboarding with Adam. Just teaching yeah, him and see, yep. seeing Adam kind of like light up. It just like seeing. I feel like as a kid, if you you had something you're passionate about, I mean, like growing up for me, that was like Pokemon and Beyblade, like sharing that with friends and like some that have never experienced that before. Like that feeling of satisfaction when you have a close friend of yours. It's like, dude, this is sick. I'm all for it. Right. And they, they jump into it as well. Also, I didn't say an animal. For some reason, I want to say a sloth because you almost you don't really an realize. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> You don't really realize sloths are there until, you know, it makes a sound. And I feel <laughs> like Tadashi's kind of that. Sloths <laughs> yeah. are very cute. They are very, they're very cute. They're very, very cute. Um, David, what do you think is Adam's core memory? Core memory? Well, you know, I mean, doing, doing the job of the actor, our job is to tell the story that's on the page, right? Mm -hmm. So if I answered that question as the actor who played adam i have to say the show gives us his core memory i think it's it's you know it's a sort of a couple he's got these flashbacks with uh his youth with joe and cherry that he's trying to avoid he's got uh, uh probably his most deep-seated core memory would be the abuse he suffered at the hands of his of his aunts um if it's me uh, answering from my own headcanon, I've decided internally that the pivotal moment of, of Adam's life, or uh, Inosuke's life, I suppose, at the time, was when he was like 12 years old and someone snuck him in to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then, like, he just completely took a left turn. <laughs> it's what helped him pollution his fashion Fan. design. Oh, oh, yeah, my people. Yeah. It's like Tim. All who? he needed was, whatever happened? To Fay Ray, that <laughs> dog, <laughs> satin drape. Oh, how do you do, I? She uh, yeah. met my. And then Adam, do, I'm overdue for a watch of that. Sir. He walked into that theater, I know Ske, he walked out of that theater as Adam. I like it. Core That's memory. It. Core <laughs> memory, baby. Core memory. I have a question that I saw in chat that I would like to ask everybody. Uh oh. Um, what would. And please keep in uh, keep in mind like how old your characters are and everything. But what would everybody's comfort anime be that they grew up with? Oh, like what did they go back to watch to be like, all right, I'm just gonna put this on and like do my laundry and clean or something like that. Where it's just like they don't have to watch right. it, but something that they resonate with. When Oka That's does really his laundry, he puts oh, on yeah. Attack on Titan. And that is why Sketchy's obsessed with biting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's great. I think I know exactly what uh, uh, Shadow would be into. A Gretzko. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Perfect. <laughs> so Watches it on his phone in the shop. <clears throat> Watches, he watches oh, it on his phone in the on shop. On his phone in the shop. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go do some room. karaoke later. <laughs> oh god, I hope uh, the, the boys sing at some point. Oh, that'd be oh, so man. cute. Oh, Golden, Golden says Cherry totally loves Sailor Moon. Don't I was me. gonna say Sailor Moon. I was gonna say yeah. Sailor Moon. <laughs> I was gonna say definitely Sailor Moon. They watch Cherry. it together. They watch yes. Sailor Moon together. Oh my God, every day after school, they would go yeah, home they and they watch together. Joe and Cherry as magical know. boys when? Joe as Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, let's, wait, there's a difference because Joe actually does something. That's true. My Joe is Sailor, Sailor Moon. Something. Joe is Sailor Moon. Joe yeah. is Sailor Moon and Cherry is Tuxedo Mask. No, Cherry would be Sailor Mars. Cherry Ooh, would yeah. be Sailor Mars because they pretty much have the same relationship. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars are always oh, going, you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Definitely Sailor Moon. E, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but EWE says Longas would be wolf children. <laughs> oh, my heart. Oh. I know, oh, I love that movie. It's so oh, you watch that as a comfort? You feel good when you watch that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would feel oh great about that. He probably watches like Doraemon or something. I don't know. Really. <laughs> uh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Really quick, Terry loves, Terry loves Sue Dearly says, Cherry and Joe saw Neptune and Uranus and said, Us! Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yep. maybe. Yep. That's oh, that'd be amazing well, fan art. That's funny. They just I look love at it. each so, other at one oh, night yeah. and they're like, uh, uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? You can do that? 
Is that us? Is that what we have? <laughs> we need to go get costumes. <laughs> uh, Way ahead of you. <laughs> um, Brandon, what about you? What about uh, what? It, what would she's comfort anime be? Oh, I I don't really know. I I feel like I'm the least cultured in anime here. Um, <clears throat> but probably something psychological, maybe or psychological Serial experiments. Horror. Lame. Psychopaths. <laughs> no, I, I was gonna say psychopaths. I think I know what I think I know what Carla's would be. Can I take a guess? Can I Ooh. just take a guess? Yeah, I want to see if it's the same. Dot hack. Ooh. That was Ooh. out of left field. Was not expecting dot hack. Yeah, no good choice. I That's love a really that. Good choice. What did you think I was, I was gonna say? What it, what was it? What would it be? I was gonna say that I think when Carla's charging, <laughs> I, I think that Transformers is playing in the background. Ah, oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh, it's true. That's perfect. Is an anime now, confirmed. <laughs> Transformers is now exactly. an anime. Oh, yeah. the, I mean, no, no. The, old, the original Transformers cartoon was all animated it's in true. Japan, it's so true. it is technically an anime. It's true. Todd, is she being into Death Note or B Stars? That's that's what I, Anne says. Yeah, yeah. B Stars, Dear Eternity, just, like, just the dog stuff. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> I can make oh, that yeah. work. I you can? It. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hate that I'm going to say this, but uh -oh. I have to take into Mia's age into account. Yes. Okay. Mia would probably really like SAO. Oh, oh, okay. adorable. That's yeah. adorable. And that's I feel like, really I feel like Mia, I feel like Mia is like kind of an anime normie, but he loves like <laughs> cute designs and stuff like that. So I feel like mm. SAO, because like, mind you, like Mia is 13, and 13 years ago was 2000 and what, eight? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, oh. you would have probably watched SAO at a young age and be like, oh, that's just like my Game. video games. Um, it's exactly why, before. and chat, that is exactly why we don't ship Mia with anybody because he is 13, He's 13. Yeah. years yeah. old. Oh, you He's ship Mia already. with his console and that's it because he plays his I console. I do. And friends and with therapy. Mia X gaming console. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Mia would probably Someone... also love Demon Slayer. That's very good. Somebody just brought Someone that Someone said Fruits Basket. <laughs> but like, he's... How old is Fruits Basket that he would have seen it? Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like, is he, he old enough seen to have it. seen... He no, the new one, yes. He's he's the old so original one, he would have seen it. Mm, what if he got, got into Sword Art Online and then he went back and found the classics and was like, okay, like that hi that hipster. Maybe. If he found the classics, <laughs> if, he, if he found the classics, yeah. I feel like he would have just played classic video games instead. He probably wanna when gone back and played like a bunch. He, he, he like he probably would have loved Dot Hack. He would have loved the heck out of Dot Hack. I could see that. I could definitely, yeah. I could definitely see <laughs> that. That's a big if. But I feel like Sao for sticking to like his age, he would love Sao. Wait, what about Naruto? Or my hero. <laughs> That's yeah. my hero, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see my hero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my hero's. Uh, I get. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Mia probably would have been like, I'm going to be all might. He's like small Deku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like this guy it's cries cute. too much. Yeah. <laughs> keeps, asking, keeps asking Joe to dress up as all might so they can do a Deku and all might. <laughs> no, no, your cam died, by the way. Oh, my cam died? Yeah. Chad, you know what to do? <laughs> so since we have since we have about 20 minutes left in uh in this uh panel this time that we have together guys we're gonna go around and uh see what everyone's been up to because i'd love to give everyone a chance to talk about what it, what it is what it is they're working on if they're allowed to talk about it or oh my lord chat calm yourselves holy Cam moly. died you can't help Cam it died. oh died. my gosh um, because a lot of the times we save it for the last five minutes of the panel, and I didn't want to do that this time because I'm sure there's a lot of things we could talk about that we're really excited about. Um, first off, let's start with Damon. Damon, go for it. Because I know oh, that gosh. you were just you just announced something recently that is very exciting. Yeah. Um, so go for it. <laughs> yeah, uh so I mentioned it earlier, but I'm in Final Fantasy VII Remake uh Intergrade uh yeah! for PS5. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I play Vice the Immaculate. He is the uh, leader of Deep Ground. Uh, he shows up very He is now a super boss in uh, FF7 Remake. I hope people have been able to beat him because I haven't gotten there yet. Uh <laughs> <laughs> did you imagine? Uh, did you imagine when I met you about eight years ago 
being the the sweet innocent little baby you were cool. did you ever imagine that you would be in final fantasy in the final fantasy 7 franchise no, never never no i was um and it was it was kind of crazy because I, I, I moved during covid to to la and i um i got the audition from my agent i was like oh that's oh because i played it during early covid i was like i, I need i, I want to be in ff7 really bad <laughs> and so hey, I yeah, got yeah. Audition not, not, not long after uh, i moved and i was like oh crap and it took like months and months and months to hear anything back um but yeah, and it was my first, my very first in studio session after uh, uh, COVID um, stuff. So, yeah. Can I just uh, say and then, how yeah. awesome it is? I, I, I like I messaged you and stuff like that, but I can't express how freaking yeah, excited dude. I was when I saw that. I was like, dude, we talked about no this, fucking like, way. I, I, I swear to God, I ran around my apartment like screaming your name. Yep. Um, yep. That, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. On, Twitter, yeah. on Twitter, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. Like really? I screamed, I audibly screamed. It You're was, made it was for it, dude. You really are. Anyway, oh, yeah, you deserve it. Sobbing. Like... Thank you. I'm really, I'm really. I'm, really... I'm excited well, for. Fun. I'm excited for you, baby. I'm, I'm Thank very excited you. for you, and I'm super proud of everything that you've accomplished and done for yourself because now you're directing too, mm, which yes. is pretty yeah, exciting. The big chair. Very yeah. excited. They will in the big boy chair. <laughs> and Damon's directing um, some great shows. Damon's a growing Full boy. Full Dive RPG is one I'm directing right now uh, for with Soundcaden Studios um, and Funimation, uh, and it's been really fun uh, working with um, Johnny Youngbosch and Natalie Bonsistine and the whole crew. It's been really fun. And then David and I, he was my assistant director on my last one. Uh, and he did a fabulous job. It was uh, suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town is the full name. What Another what great mouth. show. That's a long name. Yeah. Suppose uh, a thing happened where a gay yeah, kid from a place yeah. went to another place and it was a boonies and dungeon. <laughs> the boonies, hey! Nuttiness. Direct translation? Insane. That's awesome. Congratulations, love. We're, we'll all have to keep an eye out for that. And uh, I, I have to. I still have to play Final Fantasy VII in general and the remake, so I definitely will. And I'll let you know when I do. Uh, Thank you. Kieran! <laughs> Me! Hello! Oh. <laughs> oh, what have I bloody been doing recently? I don't know, I've been trying not to go crazy. Um, it's been good, I, I was in, I had a small part in something uh, someone else will mention, which um, was super awesome, and I'm so excited, I haven't seen it yet, and I can't wait. Uh, I have a, a whole bunch of announcements coming out that I can't say anything about, mostly right now I'm working on... Uh, Catching back up with my own writing and audiobook that uh, I meant to have out last year, which Damon is in. Uh, yeah. So fantastic. Oh my gosh. And terrifying. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and also I'm working with an indie group right now. And I think if you're, there's been so much like cool queer uh, discussion and stuff in chat, if you want to check it out, it's at Sheepish Series on Twitter. Uh, sheepish series and it's basically uh, an indie cartoon we're developing uh, I play the lead sheepish and it's about just this like non-binary sheep trying to get through high school getting stoned trying to survive and it's awesome I think you should go check it out because it's gonna be really cool we're gonna have a full animated pilot done soon so Woo! the getting stoned part it. is integral to the plot <laughs> oh yeah very I integral. found it oh, oh I found I found wait did somebody else find it before that I did no here cutest sheep in the whole world oh there you go chat yay uh, awesome. yeah you can follow me follow me on twitter and tiktok for updates and stuff it's just at kieran strange and i'll be around i love you i gotta follow you on tiktok <laughs> yes i think i followed you i might not oh have you have a tiktok right now. Shit, really. I i've been I meaning follow. i've been oh, wanting man, to start a tiktok but y'all so much work goes into making those videos i really want to make one though it's it you know it sounds it's like fun. dreadfully simple it is addictively simple it is. You're and not helping, Jonah. Can, can <laughs> do a lot of things to you. Too much for me. Chris! <laughs> yes! Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, there is a lot of stuff I want to talk about right now, but still, but... I'm just like, I'm waiting for them to pull back the curtain and be like, haha, here it is. But I can say uh, something that I, I finished up working on, I mentioned earlier, uh, Megalobox Season 2, where I played yeah. a character named Chi. Yeah. Uh, it is a boxing anime, and it follows Season 2. Uh, basically, the main character falls on hard times. In the first like arc, he ends up in this uh, immigration Im Im immigrant camp, uh, and everyone's there of Hispanic descent. And I play this character named Chief, 
who is uh, basically boxing his way to buy the property so he oh, they don't get kicked out and i i connected a lot it was a a, a unique challenge uh because i don't you know i, I obviously i speak i i don't I have a Hispanic accent, but this needed, uh, it called for it for this character. So I had to brush up on that because, you know, I've been surrounded it, uh, by it a lot through my, my whole life uh, in my, my Mexican side of my uh, family. And then also singing, singing. I had to sing the first episode, which I was not expecting in, uh, in Spanish as well. So that was a unique challenge, but I really connected to it because, you know, it deals with uh, uh, prejudice, uh, immigration, uh, looking for new opportunities, I, which I connected a lot because I've had a lot of uh, extended family members who had to deal with that uh, deportation, uh, finding, uh, you know, a better life. So wow. it was a uh, uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> eye-opening, not eye-opening, I mean, I've lived through it, but it was uh, wonderful to play a character like that, that connected uh, to my life somewhat. So I, I was uh, appreciative for the opportunity, and I, I and I did audition for it. It's like, no, nah, they'll probably get somebody more fitting for this. And I was surprised when uh, I, I I got called in. I was like, oh, uh, awesome. Do I have to sing? It's like, we don't know yet. And, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Kimmy, go for it. Uh, I too have things that I cannot talk about, and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited, but. Uh, I'm currently playing Tria in season two of How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Ooh, and fun. I'm streaming on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, now that I'm back from my hiatus, which I took because my brain was being wonky. And I didn't get to announce the role because it came out right right as I took a break. So no. uh, I was just like, yeah, but put the phone Well, down. that put means that I'll have to have you on here, Kimmy, to play games or something. I think you'll oh, yes, have do. to do so that. Fun. Yes, you do. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> We'll talk about that. Yes, we will. Jonah. Hi. Um, I am working on six shows right now and two video games, so I can't talk about a whole lot. But next Thursday is a very big day because is that Jonah? Thursday season two comes out. Oh, uh, woo! Sorry, yes. On Whoa. Netflix. And let me tell you this. I can't say a whole lot, but this is this is the best so far like we've we put everything into this people got serious people were like we're gonna we're gonna work really hard to make this a damn good thing and uh it shows the writing is phenomenal all the performances are really well done um and it's better than the first season so if you enjoyed the first season please watch the second season uh i also uh, voice tatsu and way of the house husband please watch that on netflix uh record of ragnarok i voice the bishi boy adam who is naked the entire show he doesn't wear any clothes so that's an incentive um uh, you i stream know that's gonna stay. <laughs> and he's also I a stream... dad too he is a dad he's the father of humanity uh so that's another draw uh other than that i stream on twitch pretty much every day if i'm not working in or, ha or have evening sessions so if i don't have anything in the evening from like four to six i am streaming starting after five so if you come and tune in on my on my stream after five i'm usually there and you can come and hang out and say hi and most of the time i'm playing with rai or some other you know members of the community which which you should get involved in really if you enjoyed this you'll really like uh hanging out with us on twitch um mm -hmm. in other capacities so thank you so much thank you uh tedious tedious thank you tedious for your compliment thank you howard Uh, uh, I think I mentioned this <laughs> earlier, uh, um, but yeah, uh, the next from the 12th to the 14th of this month, uh, a movie uh, that I worked on called Josie, the Tiger and the Fish is going to be in theaters. Uh, and I play uh, one of the leads, uh, Suneo, in that. And uh, yeah, that's coming out. I'm really excited for that. Uh, and if it's if you guys are if they have it dubbed in your theaters near you and you're comfortable going to the theaters like. Feel free to check it out. It's it's a beautiful movie, and uh, I've always like loved movies like like really solid anime movies like 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 Silent Voice or like like Summer Wars and stuff. And like to be in like like something like that is is really really cool. Um, 
I noticed in the chat people were putting Kuroko's basketball. And yeah, good Yeah, three of us are in that. Some of us are in that. Um, uh, I don't know if people know this, but Kuroko's basketball is literally my favorite anime. And uh, I didn't know that. Good. I, I, yeah. I didn't think when, I, yeah. when that got cast, I was like, you know what? I don't like sports anime, but I sat down and watched the whole thing. And holy yeah. crap, it's like JoJo's, but basketball. Let me get, let me get basketball. my sword. <laughs> Let me get yeah. my sword for you. Right, hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so yeah, I love that. Love that show. I get to be uh, one of my favorite characters, uh, Himuro, uh, in that. Aww. And then uh, Pretty Boy Detective Club is is out, coming out still right now. Still working on that. Uh, I play Naga Hero. And uh, yeah, there's a th there's another big thing I'm doing that I can't talk about. Uh, that's taking up my time, but I don't know when I'll be able to talk about it. But stay tuned, I guess. Day two. Yeah. Rye. So I, like many of my beautiful friends here, have some really, really, really cool things that I cannot talk about. Uh, some very self-gratifying things that I've been working on that are like little personal goals for me, and then some other just really cool things that I can't wait to oh. share with you guys. Yeah, um, thank you so much for the gift subs. Sorry, Rye. Go woo! It's okay. Um, but uh, I am mostly uh, in between, like, you know, any sessions I have during the week, I stream here on Twitch. I try to stream at least four times a week. Um, you know, I play video games with everybody, just chat. We do little field trips where we do like walkthroughs of like Japan and different districts in Japan. Um, just hang out, play like we've been playing Dongroba V3 on my Twitch channel, and that has been a trip and a half. Um, and uh, and yeah, I just uh, just kind of you know struggling, not struggling, uh, taking each day <laughs> as it comes. Uh, I guess the real struggle is getting out of bed in the morning. Um, <laughs> Am I right, guys? Ooh. Am I right, <laughs> guys? Okay. Um, so you're not wrong. Uh, uh, but but yeah, I'm just uh, I'm really excited to share with you guys some stuff in the future. I have zero clue when I'll be able to talk about any of it. But I'm mostly streaming on Twitch, so come and hang out. And I'll be streaming after the, uh, uh, probably after I'm done talking about yeah. this. I'll start getting my own stream set up, and then we'll have Jonah's gonna be there. Maybe some other people come hang out with us too. It'll be really fun. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. You're gonna have to do like the speediest stream setup. You can do this. It's fine. I'll be able to do it as soon as I leave college. So enough streamlabs and I just go live. I already yeah, have some so, stuff prepped. Yeah, just just so you guys know, as soon as we're done here, actually, uh, Rai may pop off sooner. Um, but uh, Rai is gonna go live, and then uh, we are gonna be raiding him. So uh, just stick fine. around. Don't go anywhere. And also, uh, because I'm gonna be raiding chat. Please do not forget to refresh your page. Yes, that's fine. When as a streamer, when you please. raid, uh, when you when you are, I'm sorry, when you raid another streamer, please refresh your page because reviews kind of count and uh, it doesn't count unless you refresh the page. So please be sure to do that. Um, okay, awesome. And uh, Brandon, what you got going on, uh, B man? Uh, does this work? I'll turn it at the very end. Yo! Hey! 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 I was hoping for a bathroom. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, handsome right boy. Here, Happy wheel birthday. Of fortune. Thank you so much. Yes, my birthday. That's what I got to celebrate today. Um, and I'm glad I got to end it with all these beautiful, talented individuals that I haven't talked to or seen in a very long time. I have been yeah. busy. Uh, graduated college. I think. Did I graduate before? I don't know when yes. we did the last panel, but I think uh, it was, it was a few months ago. Of, yeah. Yeah. You were. Yeah. You were yes, you were, like, I was in the, the final process time. graduating. Yes, yes, I think that's what was going on. So I'm now freshly graduated and I'm in the process of potentially moving around a bit. Ooh. So uh, right now I might be temporarily moving to Austin and then to oh. Vegas. I've got oh, oh. Vegas, wow. wow. Yeah, I've got a lot of streamer friends all over the place. So I'm just kind of, yeah. it might be flowing a bit. I, I stream, you know, hey, Twitch logo. Yeah, hey. yeah look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so I do that. Um, that's been keeping me busy, but also just the hassles and stresses of moving the the, the market right now is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. So For it's been extremely yeah. stressful. I've been losing my mind, but I've got great people that I'm surrounded with every single day, and Wonderful. you know life is going yeah. well. So yeah, that's, well, that's about it for me. Thank well, you. thank you, Brandon. Um, and uh, last but certainly not least, Mr. David Wald. And I am very excited for you to talk about this uh, because I think it's very important. So I think, uh, and you can tell the chat why, but go for it, my love. Did someone tell you I'm now selling makeup for Avon? Is that what you're talking uh, about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Both are lies. <laughs> Um, yes, I uh, I got to direct a super gay dub 
for Funimation. Um, I've been trying to do that for a really long time, and uh, we finally got it happening. So, Stranger by the Shore is the name of the of the title. It's a 60 minute film, so it's an easy watch. It's now streaming on Funimation in English and in Japanese, uh, starring Justin Briner and Josh Greeley and Morgan Larray and uh, Kieran Strange makes an appearance in there as the Jedi Wisdom Queen. It's and uh, yeah, um, uh, Bryn April is in it. Yeah, it's um, it, it it was an extraordinary lightning stroke. Like, it's an amazing piece. It was already amazing as a manga. It was amazing uh, in the Japanese in, in its original anime format. Um, we hope the dub is just as amazing. But it's like. It checks a lot of boxes. It's uh, it, it's a it's it's extremely queer positive, and uh, you know, as you know, uh, you guys on the panel at least know. Uh, I've spent a lot of years now uh, going after this material and trying to get it done. And Stranger by the Shore, I think, is is pretty much the you know the best the best work I've done so far, certainly as an ADR director. So. Uh, it's an extraordinary piece. I recommend you check it out. Anything you touch, David, will do. I'm gonna watch is, it is is so it's beautiful. Anything Knock it off, off. Ryan well, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just so happy and proud of you, and it's proud yeah. to know you too. Like I just this, mm -hmm. the, the journey that you've been on for years with this has just been so inspiring to watch. Just as a friend, you know, like I'm just really happy for you. Well, bless you, I Damon. You. I remember, yeah. I remember getting the audition for it, and I, I, do you remember this, David? I, I called you to ask if you were available for the panel, and we just got into a whole discussion about, um, you know, uh, LGBTQIA plus representation in the anime world and in content and all of that. Um, the reason why I, I, I wasn't able to audition for it because I ran out of time or something or I missed the deadline. But I just remember calling you and we just started talking about it. We started talking about how, um, just how important it was to you and how much it meant to you. And so I'm just so happy for you that you were able to have a passion project you know, because we don't often get to have passion projects. Sometimes they yeah. are, sometimes they're not. Uh, a lot of the times, you know, we all love what we do, but a lot of the times it's, it, it's you know, it doesn't feed our souls necessarily, but um, I'm just very excited for you more than anything. And I will absolutely uh, watch it because I also love Josh and, and Justin and Kieran and and Oh my and God, you. girl, don't <laughs> knock your face off in this show. I, I didn't get dry wait. eyed through a single session. Like, oh, I, that's sweet. I, I, a friggin' mess. Again, now I need more therapy. I'm not doing Adam. I got no, I got no outlet. I'm directing the show. I'm crying all day, every day. <laughs> now I need to hire a team of doctors. Great. Oh. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> no. Um, no, it was I, like, they're extraordinary in it. And, and it, it was amazing to work on. And it's amazing. like. You know, Lauren. You know, I've been I've been after stuff like this for a while. I've directed a couple of these already, and you know, all of them to varying levels of success. I feel as far as far as telling a, a, a queer positive tale. Right, right. Um, this one really checks every box. You know, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no cave don. You know, there's no one forcing anybody into a kiss. There's no like inter-age play going on. Right. There's no like none of the stuff that That's often so shows nice. up in these yeah. tropey little uh, uh, yaoi uh, and yuri anime. Right. But I think that's indicative of what's coming now. I think ever since uh, uh, I think shows like Yuri on Ice and Bloom into You really kind of broke the mold. And I oh, think yeah. Japan right. themselves. Uh, uh, the producers of this material over there are themselves seeing that some of the old tropes and the old metaphors just don't work so well anymore. Mm -hmm. right. so we're getting a new class of show and we're getting stuff like Given and we're getting Stranger by the Shore, which is uh, it's it. done by a company called Blue Lynx, which is dedicated solely to really high quality BL anime, oh, including Given. They did Given. Oh, well, they did? Oh, that's so oh, sweet. Wow. That's amazing. That yeah, is that so, is wonderful, and the whole entire chat, David. The whole entire chat is giving you a a lot of hearts and a lot of support, and uh, everyone is saying how much they loved the dub for those of them that have seen it. 
Um, so I, I couldn't be happier for you, my friend. I'm very, very Thank happy you, for you. Thanks. And I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be hot. I mean, it's a passion project now, but, you know, there's a really big audience there that no one's talking to. So I think it could go to from passion product to, like, <laughs> profit for somebody. <laughs> yeah. But meanwhile, we get more of this stuff out there that, you know, stuff I didn't have when I was a kid that I couldn't watch. So. Right. And we yeah, I want to put it out the there. Fact that you're actually going out there and making it happen, like otherwise we wouldn't have it. So yeah, you're, mm -hmm. we appreciate yeah. you changing it. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> at that well, note, just, just, before, yes, before, yes, yeah, before you ahead, wrap right. up, I'm gonna go ahead and get, start getting my stream all set up. I should be up in the next few minutes, but uh thank you everybody who's been here the panel hopefully i'll see a lot of you over on my stream i love you all uh and you're all awesome awesome community i love that. i'll say i love you all again i love you all you're all exquisite and you're beautiful <laughs> and everybody here on this panel i love you all so dearly you're amazing people we love you you're right yeah, bye, bye. 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 bye bye for now bye. 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 you adorable nutball <laughs> I love you too, babe. <laughs> uh, and with that being said, I just wanted to thank you all so much for for joining me on uh, on my channel again for this panel. The fans really wanted it; they really wanted another panel. Um, you guys made it so special. I have to give you all uh, I wouldn't say props or credit, but I appreciation, I guess. Uh, over the fact that you all are so loving of this show and you all are very wholesome people. Don't ever change that um, because it's not something we have a lot of in this industry. So I think it's wonderful that you guys are all fantastic and you make the show wonderful and I adore you all. Um, huge thank you again, like I said, to the cast of Skate the Infinity for being here. Huge thank you to my amazing mods who took care of all 1,700 of you <laughs> in the chat. Uh, huge thank you to my mods. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all so much. Big thank you to Nathaniel, who is hosting the stream and is making sure everything goes smoothly technically. So huge thank you to Nathaniel. Um, once again, guys, I am Lauren Landa. You guys can catch me right here, twitch.tv slash Lauren Landa, or follow me on Twitter at Lauren underscore A underscore Landa. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. I know that Jonah and I have a few things up our sleeves for you guys so it's going to be a exciting. lot of fun very very excited um mm. yes and please go ahead and give my channel a follow hit that notification button for whenever i go live and uh i think that's about it oh yes and if you are interested in watching this panel again don't forget it will be uploaded onto the youtube channel so please do not forget that um i think uh, they can type in slash yt is that what they're typing in i don't remember point yt Exclamation point YT! Exclamation you, point YT! <laughs> Exclamation YT! Thank you for the voice. Thank you for the voice. Good. All right. Thank you guys so so much. I hope you all are safe. I love you all. I miss you all. Chat. Thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic night, guys, and have fun at Rise Up Channel. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Bye, guys. Right, thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you for pushing me in so last minute. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye.